stop right now. Thank you very much. I need somebody with a fluffy touch. By which I mean hello, fluffy people of the world. My name is Liquid Blitz, and welcome back to Dark Souls 3. And a man not with pink lemonade for once, but with good refreshing water. Trying to be more healthy. Okay, so, uh... Pick a place for the water. There you go. Okay, so here's the here's the crack. I'm backtracking in the demon ruins for some shit that I missed. Uh, so fire stuff. I've equipped flash sweat. Um, and I'm going to try and get the lava stuff. And apparently I missed a way to go. Now, it's here. And I know it's here because... Um, I'll tell you what. Um, I'm just going to go back in time by about 20 minutes. And I'm going to show you what just happened. Jesus! Fucking hell! My mic isn't even a. Oh! oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Fuck. Okay, right, Mike is in front of me. Jesus Christ, uh, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on, I am not prepared for this. Right, fuck, I... Okay, so... I'm not prepared for this. Um, I literally, my mic wasn't in the right place. I had something playing on YouTube that I had to mute, so I had to minimize the game. Okay, so, fuck, I was getting back here. I was getting back, my, my, my fucking light isn't even on, so you can barely see my face. Okay, so I think it's fucked up. Okay, right, what a random opening. <laughs> right, so, as you've just seen, it may not have been clear, but what I was gonna do was backtrack and finish off everything we missed in the Demon Ruins area, starting... Um, not with the lava stuff, but with turning the crossbow back on to try and get it to shoot that chunk of rubble that the loot was uh, hidden behind, and I would loot that. And then after that, we would do the lava stuff. So I came back here because this is the way back to the crossbow, and I was going to start the episode basically at the crossbow turning it on. Just to, just to save a bit of time for you guys, you know, I wanted to start the episode at the crossbow. Um, so I was going to come through here... Just kill the frogs, kill this black knight, and and get up there, and just yeah. But as you see, as you saw, I fell off the edge, and I, uh, I didn't die. Yeah, and not only did I not die, I got attacked by some fucking guy that didn't. Uh, in fact, let's just go back down. So yeah, I mean that was that was one hell of a way to find a way that I didn't go last time. You, you know what I'm trying to say. Wait, oh! oh no, 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 no. What is he? What is he? I've been sat on the stairs for like 20 minutes. Has he just been hiding there the whole time? What the fuck? Right. Oh. Okay, Jesus Christ. So who is this and what the fuck? I think one of you did tell me in the comments I did miss a way to go around the lava area. And I guess this was it. That is the Fume Knight Sword. Hang on now. Uh, is this, um... The phantom that I killed, but in physical form or some shit. Oh, can I get that sword off him? Is it? Is this the moment I get the sword? Because I was disappointed that we didn't get it before. Oh, we fought. <gasps> Look at that damage, man. I need to- I need to get to full health. Oh, hang on. But I, I, don't lock on. I can't lock on. I've decided once and for all, I just- I cannot lock on. I just suck when I try and lock on. 
Oh, they, I've got no flasks as well, because falling down, etc. Jesus Christ, I had to heal a bunch of times. Oh, he's following me up the stairs this time. Fucking hell, man. Yeah, Jesus. When it happened, I didn't have my mic in front of me, I didn't have my studio lights on or anything, so I was unprepared. Fucking hell. Dude, I remember that f that that move set with that sword. Oh, get fucked. Calm down now. Gotcha. Finally. Okay. At least I didn't die to him. So that was him, Zorig, Knight Zorig. Please tell me this is the Fume Knight sword. Please. Ooh, it's more than that. Fume Ultra Great Sword of the Shield. Nice. Okay. Let's give those a read. Da -da 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 -da. Um, by the way, I've had a thought about weapons. A few people have told me that the boss weapons start to drop off compared to normal weapons, like later in the game. And I might want to use a different weapon in the Frost and the Erethel. And I've had a thought about it, about what weapons I would use. I can't use a different another boss weapon for the same reason. Um, but I, it would have been the Artorias saw that I switched to. But then I thought, you know what? I've got the perfect weapon to switch to. And it's poetic, because it was my main weapon in the first game as well. The Black Knight Sword. Oh fuck, yeah, because it requires Twinkling Titanite, and that's not being spent on anything else. So once I get some souls, I've decided to pour some serious upgrades into that and try using that. Um, anyway, where the fuck? Fume Ultra Great Up requires 50 strength. <laughs> oh... I don't think I'm going to have that in this playthrough. I went more into strength in the first two games. Especially the second. This twisted sword, the heaviest of all, the heaviest of all ultra grade swords, resembles black slate. This weapon said to belong to a traitor from long ago. The Fume Knight traitor. Was he a traitor? Oh yeah, of course. Story. He, he turned traitor against the the king. And what's his name? Vorstadt was the one who wasn't a traitor, I think. Da -da 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 -da. So, was so heavy that it found no owner. It became a f well, it, it had one owner, Knight Zorig. Okay, let's read the uh, the shield. Fifty strength. I don't think it was that high in the second game, was it? Um, how much strength do you need to two hand that? Like thirty three or something. Hmm. Well, I'm. I'll use the Black Knight Sword before I use that. I use the Fumal to Great Sword, I believe, as my main weapon in the second game. So, I've had my fill of Fumal to Great Sword. Even that requires 32. Great Shield made of black iron, deeply feared for its association with Knight Slayer Zorig. Hmm, black iron offers high defense and is particularly better at warding off fire. Okay. Well, dude, that guy was one handing the sword and that shield and armor. So, that. This. Motherfucker must have been one tough cookie. I can't believe I found this stairs that I saw last episode, like under the Black Knight, etc., and just figured this out by f by rolling off the fucking edge, essentially to my death, trying to escape the Black Knight up there. What a way to discover this place. Now, I, since I'm here, I might as well start doing the fire defense shit now, eh? Because. I'm right here. And I did muse last episode that this might have been the same lava area as the Quilana area, but it isn't, is it? It's just two other items. Well, you know... Uh, I mean, let's pop flash, right, and just see... Oh, I need pyro... Oh, I need pyromancy. Of course. Of course. Okay, uh, right. I mean, this this armor's pretty good with fire defense. It's not the best, but let's just see how well this works. I'm not even on full health. Let's just let's just see. Right. Okay. Um. Right. Oh, I don't have much in the way of health. Let's try and get this one item, but I might have to like return here. Once I might put replenishment on, etc., and really try and min max this shit. You get what I'm saying? 
But let's try and get this one. I'm so dead. <laughs> Fucking hell, man. Ember gone. At least I... G In fact, go fuck yourself. I just tweaked. I just looted an ember. Really? I knew that the second game did the same shit. Oh, for fuck's sake. I've got to get... I've got to get past all the shit to get back there. Dude. The second game did exactly the same f uh, trick. Just a big fuck you from the developers. I think it was the very first item that you get by running into fire in Dark Souls 2 was an ember. Uh, the equivalent of an ember. Humanity, whatever the fuck. Absolute piss take. Because that's what you lose by getting the item in the first place. Right, hang on. I'm just going to go for this. Go, go, no, fuck off. Just seriously, go fuck yourself. Uh, in fact, we're just going to run past everything. I can't even be asked to kill rats. I'll use this run back to just quickly let you all know. Oh, fuck's sake. To let you all know. Uh, well, I've updated all my software I use for recording episodes. And long story short, I try not to do that often because it often breaks things and you've got to redo things and fix shit. Hang on, fuck. Um, but yeah, um, I, it, updating all my setup broke the sync between all my audio and video and camera and microphone and game audio. It, it broke the sync, so I've had to... I spent all of yesterday fixing that, so let me know if anything is wrong with today's episode. If anything is out of sync with audio or video or anything. Otherwise, it's all good. Well, let's get past these cursed motherfuckers. This pathway right here is like testament to why you really need to look around a place. Because this is so easy to miss and yet so easy to see. But I'm not going to Ember again because I will, I will die. This one, this next one is further away. 100% I'm going to die here, so... I, I guess... Um... You know, how, how fast can you pop a flask? Let's just waste one. I might want to do that just like halfway through dying, if you see what I'm saying. I'm going to die, so... Let's just pop this. And let's just run and I'll, I'll heal halfway through. Let's just, let's just see. And again. Oh, well, Sacred Flame. Okay, well, okay. You know, I tell you, the, the fucking loot... The time to loot an item in this game is an absolute kick in the balls. <laughs> it, fuck, it takes like three seconds before you can act again. Does that make sense? Before you can move or roll or anything. It's like three full seconds. Well, I got it. Sacred Flame. It's something I'll never use. <laughs> uh, what is it? Flame burrows inside foes and ignites. Hey, I can use that. Pyromancy taught amongst savages. Flame burrows inside foes and ignites. Originally used in ceremony for cleansing sacrificial impurities, thereby lend lending them as barbaric as it seems. This may in fact be quite fitting for the savage pyromancers who would consider how servants of the divine. Okay, well I won't be using it, but I am glad I have it. Since I'm doing all this shit, we might as well go back to the other ones as well. It's it's in the same direction, I think. And we'll, we'll do the crossbow thing last before we get back to Irithyll. Uh, yeah, thanks for letting me know that Quilana is down here dead. I didn't realize. Hang on. Woo! Countdown, Fireball. Fuck off, man. Oh, for fuck's sake. I fucking hate this room. Fucking go away. <sighs> yeah, apparently Quilana's body is down here by the spider, and I just missed it. Let's kill a couple of rats, as you do. Fuck off. Fuck off. Just, 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 just die, you ratty bastards. I will not miss the demon ruins and... and I, I like the connection with the first game. You know, Isolith, demon ruins, etc. Big old thumbs up for me in terms of lore and, and I liked to see this area again. 
But Jesus fucking Christ, what a painful maze. Right, so I guess this body here is Qualan. I didn't realize we looted a, a dead body. So is this Quilana, like, curled up by Fair Lady Spider or something? Or Quilag's body? Mm. It looks just like any other dead thing, so I didn't, re I didn't make the connection that it was Quilana. And we haven't met a female pyromancer yet, by the way, that can teach us some of the spells, so we've got to meet a female pyromancer. Right. Um... Uh, oh, I forgot there's blobs in this motherfucker. I'd, I'd love to get the, the further one first, rather than attempt to, uh... Oh, let's just do it. A little less conversation, a little more action, please. Just keep keep healing every three feet! <gasps> no! Get it, just get it and die. Die with pride. I only just made that. White hair talisman. I tell you, in the second game, getting wet and popping the flash sweat gave you so much fire resistance that you you could comfortably just sit in the fire for ages. It's not as powerful in this game. I'm f I'm dying almost too fast to reach this shit. If it weren't for popping chain flasks, I would not manage this. Um. Do 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 do. White hair talisman. Talisman made from a lock of white hair. Oh, fair lady spider, she had blonde hair. Or white hair. This lock of hair belonged to a deformed member of the Chaos Witches. <gasps> it fucking is! Dude, I love making connections myself before I even read a description. This lock of hair belonged to a deformed member of the Chaos Witches. Quilag had brown hair. But fair lady spider that I was loyal to. Queen of the Chaos Covenant had white hair. Mothers of the art of pyromancy. Fashioned into a talisman, it enables the wielder to cast both miracles and pyromancers. Bruh, that is really good. I don't think I've seen one of those before, have I? I've seen staffs that let you do miracles and sorcerers, but I've never seen a pyro and miracle thing. That is, like, really good. That would let me use some pyro shit. Hmm. And I can officially wield part of my beloved fair lady spider. Um, oh, I need, I need, I would need two more levels in intelligence and you know what, I, I can't afford to waste any levels, so goodbye to that dream. Right, let's jump cut forward back to the same spot again and we'll get the final lava item. Ooh. Right, I'm back. Good thing I had no souls to waste on all of these deaths. Go, 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 go. I'll heal once and then we'll just... Toxic Mist. <laughs> Seriously, right, okay. Well, it's fine, I got it. Toxic Mist. Right, let's, um... Whoa. Okay. In the interest of saving time, because this is all just backtracking, and this is a longer run back, um... I'll jump cut ahead for you guys to, like, the Black Knight or whatever. Right, okay, I killed the frog. Let's just, uh, get this Black Knight dead, and let's not- Let's get in that big room there, past him. So I'm, I don't roll into the lava. Because you know that's exactly what I would do. Hello there! Ooh, hang on, hang on now, hang on now, hang on. Oh, you know when you get close to mobs, they just miss. Right, okay, I might run past all the other mobs to get to the crossbow. Because I can't be arsed. And I think once I've turned it on, and we've got that item, assuming that is how you do it, and get that item, I don't think I'll be bothered to turn it off. I'll just leave the crossbow on at that point, because... I think I've aced the entire Demon Ruins and Smoldering Lake area at this point, and I won't be returning. <laughs> so, I'll just leave it on. I think Replenishment may well have helped significantly trying to get through the lava shit. 
Oh, hang on. I need to, I need to make some serious dis distance here because they might follow me right to the ends of the earth. Let's just run and hopefully... Let's just get to the very, very back corner and hopefully some will leave me alone. Go away. Surely you can't follow me this far. Go away. Look at him just eyeing me up. He's daring me. Right, well, I'll fucking kill you, sir. <laughs> he doesn't have white eyes, so he's not coming back. Right, let's do this. I want to get back to Erythal. I wonder if the guy's in Erythal. Oh, shit. Oh. Uh, well. Yeah, I wonder if the, um, the mobs in Erythal are like, uh, ah, oh, fucking hell. Come on, game. My game is minimizing, doing that whole shit. I wonder if they're resistant to frost. Because uh, while it doesn't seem like a, a snowy, frosty place like the painted world does. Whoa! <gasps> fucking hell, I'm a, bit, I'm a bit close. Fucking hell. Oh my god. Um, right, I just need to go for this. Let's theorize and run at the same time. I wish I... <laughs> it's probably not the best thing to talk about in a Let's Play episode, but I, I wish my computer didn't do that minimizing thing all the time. It's such a pain. Oh! oh, fuck me. The world is conspiring to fuck me. Okay. Jesus Christ. At least the, cross the crossbow is on. I don't have to go back up there again, because that is a painful run back. So, I should be able to just go straight down here now. Right, here's the rubble. But I, I don't, like, have any... I don't know why it happens, really. I don't know how I can fix it, you know? Did that work? I can't see, because I'm too busy taking crossbow bolts to the face. It did work, yeah! Hang on. Let's count the things. One, two, three. Ooh, speckled stone plate ring. Now, I'm such a lazy bastard. <laughs> um, I've got 14 bones as well. Just, just, just let's get back to Firelink. I'm done forever in the demon ruins and the smoldering lake. Jesus. Let's, uh, give that a read. Please be something awesome. I don't need fire protection no more. Now I'm leaving that fucking place. Mm. There we go. Uh, speckled stone plate ring. That's got, that's got every color in its gem. Stone plates are symbols of true knights, and speckled stone plates are... Speckled stone plate. Don't you get that from Onion Boy in uh, in the first game? Isn't that one of his rewards? Da -da -da -da, in this gen, it's slightly increases magic, lightning, fire, and dark. Da oh, it's all things. Uh, right. Okay, here's a test. How much fire? Um, hang on. Let's get rid of that. So that gives you that gives you 9.5 uh, fire absorption. That's a weird amount. 9.5. Three. So, right, so that's nine in fire or three for everything. Well, eh, hey, why not? Let's get something out of that hell that just happened. Okay, so whilst I'm here... Um, and I'm thinking of switching to the Black Knight Sword for Erythal at the very least. Do I have any souls items I can pop? Not really. Not really. So, I guess we'll just start with this weapon. We'll get a few souls and the next bonfire or whatever that we arrive at in Erythal. Before I even level up, I'll try upgrading the Black Knight Sword. Let's go! 
Okay, I've taken off the pyromancy flame um, just to clean up my shit. I've put on replenishment instead of flash sweat because I, I feel like I could have used that once or twice since I took it off. Um, and yeah, we're good to go. Yeah. Um, I'm still undecided about where to go with faith because some of the better spells would require so many points in faith as you guys have let me know in the comments uh hmm, i wonder if we can get down there and you know jesus christ i would require so many points in in faith so i'm not sure i, I might stick to the strength and faith hybrid thing and just stick with like basic heals and things rather than going balls deep into lightning because it, it, it's dawned on me how much you have to go into faith to do a faith playthrough. That there is no hybrid if you want the best lightning spells. You j it's just a faith build at that point, which is a bit much. Uh, right, I'll stick with this club for now until I've got the souls to level the Black Knight sword. But I am ser I'm seriously concerned that these are these dudes are resistant to frost. Um. I think when I was getting fucked by crossbar, I was musing on the fact, the, the idea that whilst this place is kind of magical, it, it is kind of frosty at the same time. You see the snow and stuff, so it does seem both like magic and frost. <laughs> if you can apply a status or an element to this land, I'd say it's frosty and cold, so... Mm. I'm just going to go for it. Now, I'm killing these guys, but at the same time, come on, they're, they're clearly sort of cold and dead. So... Ooh, ah, oh, mm. oh shit, oh shit, no, hang on. It's fine. It's fine, as long as I can heal and not die. As long as I've got that, I'm solid. Right, can I line of sight these guys? See, I'm getting frost... I believe that's frost build-up, so they are frosty boys. These ones are dying nice and quick, though, so... Oh, shit. Oh, is line of sight officially a thing? Oh, he heard... He heard me! Is that... Is that right? He's look. <laughs> he's looking at me. Ooh, right, you just stay there. Just chill. Triple, triple hit kill, there you go, right, all, all good. We might as well kill our way back to where we ended the last episode, rather than just running. Anyway, I didn't get that far. But I do need to kill a couple, couple fire boys. Yeah. Oh, maybe we should run. Maybe I should run. Uh, let's, like, let's just kill some of these fucks. Whilst taking fireballs and shit from that fucker who's over there. Ooh, watch out, watch out. Th this club is so high damage, all I need is the opening couple of hits and I'm stumbling them and I can just kill them easily. I think using a big bonk weapon like this, it's like... It's all or nothing in terms of offense. I need to be as offensive as possible. And just get in there fast as shit. Right, I'm not going to run, I'm just going to swing. Fuck me. That's my that's my fault for hitting the fucking wall like a bitch. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. I'll tell you. It re Ooh, a claymore. Huh. I can dual wield claymores. Hey. Um... Is power stancing a thing in this game? I didn't even fucking consider that up until this point. That'd be fun. Power stancing or just simply dual wielding two claymores. Hang on, just... Ooh. Oh, hang on, there's fire. Motherfucker's having a go. Ooh. Uh, I'll tell you, I mean, you might have to remind me in the comments, because I'll probably forget, but... Somebody comment and remind me <laughs> to check power stancing, because hell, 
I did enjoy my time with the Claymore at the start of the game. Oh shit! I think it is the same moveset as the Black Knight Sword, but still. If I can dual wield Claymores, I'll be in for a lot of fun, shall we say. Right, I just need to go for this guy. Let's run around the corner before I pull anyone else. You know, my biggest problem with this is, is fucking... is hitting walls. Getting, uh, killing stuff with a two or three hit kill is all good and well, but I'm hitting walls and I'm fucking myself over here. Oh. Ooh, now I do like the look of these guys' armor. Didn't I previously say they look like Sauron? Dude, look at that armor. That is proper elven style, isn't it? Armor of witches who bore the profaned flame. Hang on, get the sliver of screen on the left up so I can see if there's a guy right coming around my corner. Okay. Uh, profaned flame, is that going to be like a dark pyromancy hand or something? Uh, now harrowed spirits of Arithal. So these are all pyromancers. And female, by the sounds of it. The witches who lead the Pontiff's Knights were originally ordained as Holy Knights, but it was not long, however, before their hearts were swallowed by the profane flame. Real quick, what's the uh, stats and shit? Because that is... I really, really like the look of that. It's slightly heavier than this set, but that's not the worst thing in the world. I can actually... Uh, you can't see, but it's... That's 66% weight, that's 69%, so I can equip that and not fat roll. Um, so it's slightly better physical, a mixed bag with like strike, slash, and thrust, so the same basically. It's significantly better magic, 8 versus 12. Fire is a teeny tiny bit worse, basically the same. Lightning is a little bit worse, but there's no lightning in this place. Dark is better. Bleed, poison, curse, and more poise. That's important. Oh my god, we might have a, we might have a switch on our hands here. It looks better, in my opinion. Um, wor worse frost, which is a problem, <laughs> actually, because these guys are dealing frost. But it's only 39 down to 36. I, I, I'd be happy to sacrifice that. Honestly, they're doing fire as well. Keep that in mind. That's an odd... You know, I'm going to switch. That's an odd mix. They, they are doing frost build-up, some of these guys, but I'm also getting hit by fireballs. What a strange mix. Dude. Oh my god, yeah. I mean, I'd like to lose the burned face if possible, but, but otherwise, my god, look at me. I look fucking badass in this. Dude, that looks so much better. Ooh. I'm being reminded of, like, the Silver Knights. Or hell, even the Black Knights, actually. Just not as sort of dark coloured armour. Oh, I want to farm them now and get the full armour set. Uh, oh, I'm so gonna die. Just do whatever damage I can. Now, oh, for God's sake. <laughs> Okay, let's, let's... I need them to come at me if possible. In fact, can I, uh... Can I bullshit this? Oh, he's coming at my ass. Not the first time I've heard that. Oh, the secret... The secret to bonk weapons in this game and, like, stumbling and killing is just don't be near any walls and I'm laughing. I'm laughing for days. So these guys have dark and fire and frost. Oh God, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Get a running attack. Hey. Dude, I, I'm doing so much damage with this. I'm just stumbling them through the fucking shield, man. I still want to commit to the uh, to the Black Knight Sword, if only for a, a second good weapon to use. Um. Oh, I see. Right, so that's the... Let me just do the connections here. Um, 
that's the that's the person we saw through the gate, which is there, there. So the start of this place is just down there, I see. And then this goes down to there. Hmm, okay. Uh, you know what? Sometimes you gotta walk the walk. Let's try something. Okay, there's footsteps here. I'm scared. Hang on. Real quick. Real quick. Like, quick as shit. Right. Dos Claymoros. Um. Right, I can't do the thing you do in Dark Souls 2. You hold the, the, the button. Do you know what I mean? So hang on, hang on. So doing that is two-handing the right weapon, and then that's the left weapon. Right, so I can't power stance. So either that doesn't exist in Dark Souls 3, or I don't have the... the stat requirement. In Dark Souls 2, didn't you need 1.5 times not just the strength, but also the dex of the weapon? And I don't have that. Hey, well... All in good time. Right, okay, let's go. Dude, I'm a fucking fan of this armor, though. It's the most elven-looking armor I've seen in this game yet. Just ornate and sort of beautiful. My, my, my pants don't really go with it, I'll be honest with you. <laughs> I've got this nice, shiny, ornate, beautiful, tough-looking armor. And then just some raggedy old pants. <laughs> it's a bit of a weird combo. And I will definitely need... Like, equip load, etc. I'm at my absolute limit of weight before I fat roll here, so I can't put any heavier shit on. Although, I don't need the full set, you know what I mean? Just something that looks nice. <laughs> and kind of suits it. Um, right. That main room back there looks pretty major, so I'll just... I'll save that for last. Bloody hell, this place is huge! Oh, it goes... Right, it goes to the same place, does it? I think so. Uh, locked from this side, let me guess? Of course, of course it... Who are you, who are you eyeballing? Uh, white eyes, I think that one had. Is he gonna come back up? Hmm. Oh shit. Okay. All good. Oh, oh, no, no, no. There's another one there. All right, let's get this one. Uh. Um. Ah, that was a weapon. I thought that fire thing was a. Oh shit. I thought that fire thing was just a hanging brazier or whatever. It was a fucking guy. It was a dude's weapon. Oh my god. Oh, he's looking at me and shit. Oh my god, can I, uh... Can I do the falling shit? I think I can. Yeah! <laughs> Wee! Dude, these guys are big. It, these guys are like three times my height, man. Fucking hell. Scary motherfuckers. Well, let's go. I think there's just one here. I think I should be good. Can you come at me, sir? Oh, hang on, hang on, no. Uh, right, okay. All in good time. Locked from this side as well? Yeah. Oh my god. What's what's with all these one-way doors, for fuck's sake? Can one of them open, please? Dude. This is a fucking beautiful land. Definitely the best looking place in the game, yeah. Uh, hang on, sorry, I'm fucking, I'm shit with, I'm getting shit at with directions in my old age. That's where we came from. This is all dead, dead end. Uh, 13,006, fuck me, these guys give you some serious soulage. That's really good. Mmm. Okay, now. I really am lost. <laughs> hang on. Okay. So this is a dead end. Let's just triple check over yonder's the dead end. Th 
this is the best looking place in terms of just like wonder do you know what i mean but i have been equally impressed with the vibe of other areas like the uh the whatchamacallit the undead settlement a lot of people would probably be like what the fuck are you on about that's just like an undead sort of ugly depressing land but the vibe was great oh god no yeah, the, I had a very gothic vibe of that area. So while it wasn't as ornately beautiful in a sort of fairy tale sense, it, I was still just as moved with that area. Lightning gem. Hey, ooh, can I uh, jump up to there? Oh, hang on, do I have to jump down from up there? I bet I do. <laughs> oh, okay. Illusory wall. Magic clutch ring. In fact, th talking about different areas, I am yet to see an area in this game that I'm disappointed by in terms of level design. I can't think of a single place. It's all been like top notch with like shortcuts and illusory walls and connecting the dots. Magic clutch ring. Ring depicting a hand grasping a blue stone. Magic attack. So, right, so it's like fire damage. I don't care. That's a sor that's a sorcery build necessary ring, right? Oh, oh shit. Okay, you can jump down. Uh Well, you know what? Why the fuck not? Take the ball by the dick and jump down. Is this just gonna go back to the same place here? Yeah? yeah it is. <laughs> okay. Alright. Let's go. I wonder what the boss's boss of this place is going to be. We've only got the big bad fucker left, the um, Aldrich, and we've heard mention of what's his name, Sullivan, a few times. Pon Pontiff Sullivan, Plaintiff Sullivan. I think those are the only two bosses. I'm just going to check that there is no other way around here. No illusory wall or anything. Oh. Hang on. Is this, is this all new? Oh, it is. Yeah, okay. Right, good. I'm hoping to see Sigwood soon because it's been a long time. I haven't... Oh, there. Bonfire. I haven't explicitly, explicitly been told by you guys that I've fucked his quest line up. And considering how many comments I get letting me know that I fucked a quest lineup every time I do, I take it I haven't yet balls his quest lineup. <laughs> like every other one in the game. Uh, so I'm guessing he is in front of us somewhere and not behind us. Let's get the bonfire. And then we'll spend these soulages on uh, Black Knight Sword Levelage. Let's, let's do that before anything else, because I'm a bit concerned in this room. Yeah, this is looking a bit evil and dark. Church of Yorshka. I was going to say this looks a bit like a church, but that main fucking place looks like a big cathedral, so this is like a side church. And it looks burned and dead. Which is not in keeping with the aesthetic of the... Oh, by the way, um, I was testing my audio sync problems uh, before I started this recording. I, I jumped off the ledge and was doing like landing slam attacks just to test audio and volume and shit, and I accidentally bonked the firekeeper on the head. <laughs> now, it only, it only did like a third of her health bar in damage, and there was no other repercussions. She didn't like attack me or anything, thank fuck. But yeah, I did hit her. Ah, tis good, wasn't he? Okay, here we go now. Now, what's the damage of the sword? Right, right off the bat, is it decent? Fucking hell! Holy shit, 173. That is way faster than this club. And I'm sure this club started at a very similar damage. And the scaling's only going to get better. I mean, fuck, man. Let's spend all... I'm happy to use all my twinkling boys on this, because... 
there's very few weapons that require the twinkling boys. Straight to 190. I should be able to get at least three upgrades. A 200. Hang on, so we're on 200 now after two upgrades. Up to 241. That's higher than my club. I think. God, well, 262. I mean, fucking hell, man. I can't believe how high damage this is for a faster weapon. Uh, right, I need... Fucking hell, I need five more Twinkling Titanite Pray next. Be careful, Pray that you be careful to you, sir. Now let's, uh... Right, as you do, I'm just gonna visit the men's room. <laughs> and then we'll compare damages! And we're back, and I'm just thinking, you know... Uh, Damage is one thing, but I will definitely be losing poise break and like stumble factor with the sh with the club because that it is the st greatest strength of like a massive weapon like this. Can I see stumble factor? I don't think you can in this game. In Dark Souls Two, you could see poise break or whatever it was, and that was just a direct stat letting you know how well you could stumble a motherfucker. But that doesn't exist in this. Um, so let me just let me just. Put both weapons on, side by side, and that's the best way we can compare. Okay, dude, it's not quite as good damage, but um, it's not gonna be, is it? It's a, it's a fast, slightly faster weapon. Um, I take back everything I ever said. It's fucking higher damage. Vault's hammer only has two upgrades, but that is a boss weapon, and I think. I don't know, but I, I'm guessing there are fewer upgrades total for a boss weapon because of the rareness of the dragon scales or whatever it is. Um, so dude, I can't believe it's higher fucking damage. And that's with shitter scaling, by the way. It it does have dex scaling, but it's got D strength scaling. I can't believe how fucking high damage that is. Let's do your pros and cons. That has frost buildup, um, and that's something that Black Knight's Black Knight sword is just a basic elementless sword. So that's got frost damage and it will have more poise break. But this is faster and does more damage. I mean shit. Let me see if it is faster to, uh swinging and shit. How well here's here's the real question. How fast can I do three attacks? Because that's what's killing these these witch king looking elven fucks. Um, so let's just let's just go based on sight, shall we? So okay, all right. That's that's a starting point. Have an idea. Right. Okay. It's it's hard to directly compare. But I think it's pretty clear that the uh, the Black Knight Sword, or just the, the Great Sword move set, is faster than the club's moves. I can do three or four hits faster, definitely with the sword than the club. So okay, let's use the sword. Fuck it. This might work really, really well in this place. Do, 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 do. Hang on, hang on now, hang on now, hold the phone. I've just made a discovery, ladies and gentlemen. My weight ratio is 57% under my head that you can't see. So I'm nowhere near fat rolling with this. That is a colossal bonus I didn't even fucking think of. It's way lighter. That is, where is the weight? 10. So 10 for the sword. Or 17 for the club. That is so much extra weight I can... Right. Eeeh. Okay. Oh shit. Oops. I'm gonna just use the Black Knight Sword for the foreseeable future. At least for the end of this, until the end of this episode, I'll use this sword. This will let me equip heavier shit, better armor, everything. Now the pants didn't look good with the armor, so let's put on some heavier pants. Let's make the most of this. And put on some shiny pants. I do have Black Knight leggings and gloves. Now that's metal looking armor. I bet that visually suits the chest piece way better. Let's do a quick comparison because I don't want to 
I don't want to shit on my protection and stats and stuff. So f five weight, it's significantly heavier, but that's fine. It's 4.9 poise. It's double the poise with the Black Knight leggings. In fact, look at that. Everything is better. Oh, fuck yeah. Oh, fuck yeah. Let's get in the light of the fire. Dude, the color, the... <laughs> The colour is a little bit off, the, the Black Knight leggings are a bit darker than the chest piece, but come the fuck on. I do look fucking amazing. <laughs> mm. Definitely the armoured legs look better with the armoured top. It looked too shit with the Fallen Knight set. Um, the gloves... The Fallen Knight gloves do kind of suit it, because they're more armoured than the pants were. But honestly, I do have Black Knight gloves. Um, I've also got dark gauntlets that kind of go with it. But, okay, so uh, 2.1 poise, 3.7 is better in everything, including frost buildup, which is important for the magic boys. What's my weight situation? It's a shame I'm covering souls and weight, etc. I'm on 63%. I mean, fuck, man. I don't have, like, any good armoured headpiece. Oh. Oh my god, I wonder if, I wonder if Lucatiel's mask goes with this set really well. That takes me up to 67% weight. So I'm close to fat rolling, but that's, you know. I was already on that before. Dude, this, right, okay, this, I think this has made the, the choice for me in terms of weapons, at least for now. I, I didn't twig weight would be such a bonus switching to this weapon. Um. Oh my god, it looks so much better. Uh, now it's it's not quite the same. It, you know, it doesn't. In terms of metal armor, I reckon that herald armor probably suits this set more than everything else. But <sighs> it it's metal and shiny. That's kind of all that matters, really. So it suits it in in those terms. It's shiny and metal. Kind of an odd combo, <laughs> but uh, what are you gonna do? Am I right? What's my weight once and for all? 67%. I, I don't need to equip anything else. Rings are all fine and equipped. Uh, solid, dude. Let's get back to the front lines after I pop a soul and level. Uh, real quick, I need. Oops, no, 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 shit. Uh, adding 8,400. Let's pop a five and a three and a couple of those. I should be okay. Oh my god, please be perfectly enough. I, I might not have enough. <laughs> Alright, let's get up to 20 Vega. That's That was the plan, wasn't it? Right, okay. Oh my god, things are looking up. Farewell, Ashen One. May the flames um, pff, look at that fucking bar now. Dude! Oh, I'm happy with the progress we've made. But let's get back to the front lines. I think we might have said goodbye to Vort's Great Club. This is more damage. I mean, fuck, man. I can't get over how much better it is. It's half the weight, more damage. Proof of concept of Concord kept. Is that a key? What was that? Proof? Oh, it must be a... Yeah. Proof a dark spirit was fell by Blue Sentinel. It must be a uh, covenant currency. Blood drain shrunken ear. Souvenir taken for subduing the guilty. The knights called... Hang on. So, right, this is, this is a f friendly to your blue boys. I see. The knights called the Blades of the Dark Moon. Ah. Punish the guilt-soaked offenders of the gods. Are those guys loyal to the, the wimpy bastard that I killed in the, the first game? The, the guy, the Dark Moon guy. Who was apparently a god, but I killed him anyway. Hmm. The earless corpses of the guilty will be left behind as a warning to others, inspiring both fear and respect for the gods, such as the eternal matter of the Dark Sun. Dark Sun Gwendolyn, that was his name. He, uh, he seemed like a bit of a weedy, <laughs> a wimpy sort of guy. And I killed him. Um, 
He was the brother of Guinevere, the giant lady. Okay, well, let's just keep wandering around. It might have been a better idea to make sure I'd gone every direction, front and center. But, uh, fuck it. We've gone this way now. Roster of Knights. I'm getting a lot of shit here. Roster of Knights? Oh, that's at the bottom of the list. Check Dark Moon Knights. On, uh, uh, online, a roster of Knights of the Dark Moon who have served since the age of the old royals. Used to discover the names of Dark Moon Knights. Oh, that's right, it's just for revealing players of a certain covenant, I guess. All right. Okay. Let me just practice. Uh, running attack is... Oh, a nice 360 swipe. What about one-handed? It didn't escape my notice when I was relieving myself that I could equip a shield with this if I really wanted to. Uh, now, I can't do that in terms of weight anymore since I've put heavier armor on, but you get the idea. Shield, shield is now officially back on the menu. What am I looking at? What the fuck? Alright, these guys can go invisible. Yeah, shield is back on the menu. If I just lighten the load a little bit with the armor or whatever, I can definitely put a shield back on. I'm fine not using a shield for now, but... As long as I remember, I can use one potentially. It's all good. Oh, hang on. Um, oh, I see, I see. Kill him. I thought that was the same mob and it was taking multiple hits. So I thought that might have been an NPC there. Okay, oh shit. Oh, fuck yeah, nice. Um, I'll save that for when we next go back to Firelink. Oh, fucking hell, that's death right there. I'm sort of getting Ulaseal vibes in this place. Or like da Dark Root. Basin Garden, or whatever the fuck it was called, slash Ulaseal vibes. Are we in the same place? Ooh. Oh, oh! Oh, oh my god. I thought I'd just run off to my death. I think we'll stick with 20 Vigor for now. That, that health bar, for every point of Vigor, noticeably goes up significantly. And I'm happy with that health. So do these guys attack when you get close, then? I feel bad, they're not killing me. But, oh god. I'm just slaughtering ghosts here that aren't attacking me. I'm feeling like an evil fuck again. Hello? Oh god. Oh, this ain't- this- this ain't boding well. Darkness and fucking the land of the ghosts. Let's go the other way first, shall we? Out of interest, how heavy is the fucking torch again? It'd be nice to just have that on, you know, in my left hand. Just to see it. Ah, oh, fuck all. 69%. Oh, and you know what? I can one hand, of course. I can one hand officially and not be a weak piece of shit. Unlike the club. Charge! Oh my god, okay, this is so much... I, I'm hesitant to say better than using the club, but it's faster. A lot of the attacks are like 360 swipes. Hang on, fucking... Hang on. Uh, the roll attack is a slam, which is good for, like, these sorts of mobs. The attacks are faster. I feel like I've just got an upgrade in, like, 17 different ways, you know what I mean? Better armor, better physical, more health, more damage with the sword, faster attacks with the sword. And when you do the mathematics, Faster attacks that do more damage is way more DPS, like, overall. So my damage just got a serious fucking upgrade. 
and arguably the moveset of this sword is better than the club, so... I think the rest of the game is going to be easy. <laughs> right. Um, I might just run through this motherfucker. I can't run through this motherfucker. Are they going to run away from me? Are they going to come at me? They're going to come at me. Okay. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We, we do have standing ones, though. Hang on, no. Calm down now. Let's destroy the shit. Calm down. You know what, let's actually, hang on, let's, let's officially stay one-handed. Because, as if I needed another reason to, to use this sword. The one-handed attacks are swipes with this weapon, but uniquely. Whereas it's more slams when you're two-handing. But look at this. Uh, and this is fine with weak enemies that are just dying to one hit anyway, you know what I mean? Look at that. I'm just killing all some motherfuckers here. Swords, sort of. <laughs> They're a bit low down for a horizontal swipe. I am still hitting them though. Huh. Ooh, okay. Gen have I have I genuinely been making this game harder for myself by using a slow bonk weapon this whole time? Like, obviously the damages have been great, and the stumble factor is great, but other than that... It's just slower and trickier, overall. Alright, we're gonna level. Let's go out here first. Make sure there's no illusory walls, because... I've had a definite increase in the number of them, lately. Go down. Okay. Oh, fuck. He was actually invisible. Let's keep swiping. Keep swiping, <laughs> and I'll hit him eventually. Eee. I might switch both weapons out, if you see what I mean, and do a direct comparison of a single light attack with this and the club. That'll be telling. Now, this is going under the bridge that we, uh, we started this place at. Dude. Um, I'll go up the ladder. That's definitely a, a way to go, so I'll go up the ladder first. It's probably going to be a dead end. The simple fact I can use a torch with this weapon or a shield is automatically better than the club. Oh, did I... No, this isn't where I started, is it? Shriving stone? That's, uh... Does that remove all upgrades? DDD under... Yeah, it is. Weapon. And oh, that's a good point. I might be able to infuse this weapon. Something you can't do with boss weapons. So I can probably turn this into a chaos weapon, maybe? Hey, that'll be a nice uh, throwback to the first game. Or fire, or... Uh... Well, I'll tell you what, since I've barely got any decks, I could maybe use the heavy infusion on this. Which increases strength scaling. Mm. I think I'll hold off for feedback before I do that. Let me know if you would, if that slows the weapon down. Like, attacks and shit. I'm guessing it doesn't, and it's just the scaling, but still. Oh, hang on. Fucking hell, can't I just... Let's pay attention. Jesus Christ. Uh, that fucker's following me. Did he climb the ladder? Is there any other reason to be up here? A couple of mobs and just... One Shriving Stone, really? Or is there some shit I can do with the ropes? Hang on, there's no... There's no other illusory walls or anything, is there? I guess it was just for the Shriving Stone. Okay, okay, calm down. Oh, hey, hello. Hello now. Hello now. 
They've got a bit of magic, these fuckers. Ooh, okay. Camera. I'm, I'm, I'm sucking with, with the camera. Oh, it's just a drop down to the same place. Okay. Well, let's go down into your river. See if we can get another bonfire. Let's put that away. Oh, I believe I can hear Crystal Lizard. Let's get that. Uh, now, hang on. Uh, running attack here is a swipe. That's not good. Let's do the one-handed ring attack. That's a swipe as well. I need to just do a light attack, I think. There's no way. Yeah, oh, come on, come on now. No, 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 come on now. I was, I was bullshitted by the game. Ooh. <laughs> I need five Twinkling Titanites, so I need four more to upgrade this again. Th this is Twinkling Titanite upgrade, and that's a different number of upgrades from the regular upgrades, so it's hard to compare the damage. Because this started with way more damage before before any upgrades. Hello there. Hello there. Fucking hell, man. Fucking hell, man. Don't die. Please, please God. Please, Jesus. Uh, let's do your 360. Wow, fucking hell. Hang on now. Hang on now. Um, right, hang on. Get some, get some, get some distance and then just start swiping. Swipe for days. Swipe for days and then more days and then several more days. Swipe for like a week. Bloody hell. I don't like how invisible these fucks are. Mm. Well, let's kill the screamer. Oh god. Hang on. I tell you, the, actually, the 360 swipe of the one-handed attacks are almost preferable when it comes to groups. Mm. The only thing that would stop me doing an infusion is if you lose a lot of main basic physical damage by doing it. Because if I could do, like, bleed, and it just adds bleed to the weapon, but doesn't fuck the damage up, I can definitely see myself doing that. But not at the cost of a bunch of damage. That's a different colour wall there. Why is that a different colour? Right, I can jump down there. Okay. So just go to the same place. Uh, I don't know what the fuck that is, but it looks big and dangerous. And it goes down to the same place anyway. Okay. Ooh. Right, we're getting down into the weeds of this town now. Which I'm not sure is a good thing. Oh, it's slow as fuck. That's not good, man. Um... Barlax. Uh, oh, the, in fact, this looks like a boss arena. Let's go up and lightning th the fucking thing from above. Just because I can. Come here, sir. Um, really? I can't. It won't let me lock on. Okay, let's two hand. Just, just have it, have it for days. Have it for days. Jesus fucking Christ. These have got poison or toxic or some shit. Ooh, right, two hand, fuck. I think that's the first time we've seen that mod, like a spy poison spider. Oh, I don't like this place. Nope. Nope. Oh, oh, bloody hell, it's all slow as well. Oh, God. I've got a feeling some serious shit's about to go down. Is that dog gonna jump off the fucking bridge from up there? Let's get to the land. Quick, 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 quick. Oh! 
Oh, I knew something was gonna, ha gonna happen. Hello there! Oh, I fucking knew it. Right. This is a faster weapon. That's a good thing. Uh, if I remember right, this thing does double attacks. Ow. There, it does. Right, yeah, it does. Right, it does two attacks. Let's, right, let's roll both attacks. Whoa! Oh, he's trying to eat me. Hang on now, hang on now. Let's, I want to roll. One. Oh, and, all right, it doesn't always do double attacks. Jesus. Tail. Oh, I missed, I missed the tail, I missed the tail. Oh, oh. Right, come at me. Oh, right, I'm going to lock on. This is a lock on boss, this one. Let's get behind him. Fuck off. Oh, no, he's eating me. I'm fucking dead. That is just it. Fucking hell, man. Just, just heal right now. Heal, heal my <gasps> You missed. I need stamina. I need stamina. I'm out of fucking... <laughs> right, just, just leap at me and eat me and kill me in 0.03 seconds. Okay, you fast lizard shit. Right, okay, I've got a plan. Uh... I don't think I had many souls I'd give a fuck about. Let's try and fight this thing up on the bridge. I assume it's the same mob. I mean, I literally hypothesized, did I not, that as soon as I fucking... As soon as I was under the bridge, I thought, right, I bet it jumps down and fucking attacks me. And then it was there. So, let's kill it on the bridge, where I'm not slowed down by fucking water. How about that for a plan? Let's start from the beginning. It's, it's a dangerous lizard dog ferret thing, but it's not impossible. It's got a, a couple of nice predictable attacks to uh, to kill it with. And hey, I've got a, a much, much better, faster weapon now. Okay, now let's just pop a... I didn't mean to do that. Well, that's a complete waste, isn't it? You know what? Fast as fuck. I'm gonna go back to file and can use the bone dust thing. Yeah! Right, I, I now heal more with each flask, and that's important now. I've got a larger health bar. Especially when I was embered. Like, a flask was like fuck all health, so... Important. Right, dog. I don't know what it's supposed to be. It legitimately is like a cross between an alligator and a dog. And a bit like a giant rat. Uh, right, I'll pop the replenishment. Let's not accidentally flask this time. Okay, go, go, go. That should be 60 seconds, I reckon, of, uh, of replenishment. Right, come at me. Oh, you know what? I'll pop it again, but... Once that fucking thing appears, is it not? Is it just going to be down there now? Oh, that's where I, that's where I died. Um, it's not attacking me, huh? I wonder if it's officially just moved moved house <laughs> down into the watery area. It's not fucking coming at me. All right, okay. Well, I wish I'd have killed it on the... on the bridge. Right, okay, well, fine. Hang on. Hang on. No. Thought I saw it. Okay. Well, that's a moment of regret, isn't it? Definitely should have killed it on the bridge. 
it's not that big a run back, I, th I reckon, from the church. Um, I do have to run from a few mobs, though. I'm, s I'm just starting to get enough health that I'm not, like, just auto-dying, if you, if you see what I mean. Because uh, my health has been pretty low up to this point. Oh, fuck off. Fuck off! What the fuck?! Heal, and just, just keep going, keep going, keep on going. That's, that's invisible fucks, just, just keep going. Ignore all the invisible fucks! Oh, I Let's, let's run and leave them in my dust, and then we'll replenish real fast. And then I'll two-hand, and then we'll just, we'll just keep running. I don't know where the fucking thing is, but just go for it. I think this is the biggest chunk of land to fight on, so I'll stick to this. Ooh. Uh, and I will lock on, it seems good against this thing. Are you gonna come at me or what? I mean, it literally, it removed my lock on there, that wasn't good. Right, come at me. Fuck, I know, this thing is just terrifying, man. It's terrifying, but it's kind of stupid looking at the same time! Calm down now. One, two, gotcha, right, okay, ah, there. Just get, just get the hits when I can. When I can. Oh god, this is good, this is not good. One attack and then roll away, roll away. Roll away, roll away, roll away. Roll away, roll away, roll away. Oh, this guy's weak as fuck. This guy ain't shit. Oh shit! Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Can I do like a like a thing? I can. Yeah, dude. Look at his mouth, stomach. That's very similar to the gaping dragon in the first game. I'm surprised the critical attack with this weapon isn't uh, just a stab. It's just like a like a baseball fucking club. <laughs> Interesting. Okay, it was black there. Pontiff's right eye. Pontiff Sullivan, Sullivan was his name. Boosts attack as long as attacking persists. This place is loud as fuck. Bewitched ring that Pontiff Sullivan bestowed upon his knights. Boosts attack as long as attacking persists. What does that mean? Knights who peer into the black orb are lured into battles of death, transformed into frenzied beasts. No wonder the Pontiff only provides these rings to those dispatched to foreign lands. So all these dog alligator things, and by all, I mean this one guy, because it's the only one we've seen, were knights. And real quick, that giant spider dog in the fucking cathedral... It dropped that. Ah, right, so no, that's, that's Aldrich's thing. Okay. I thought, I thought that was a different pontiff ring. No, it wasn't. Okay. Cool. Oh, this weapon is is proving itself to just be great. It was worth the upgrades and worth the time, and it's worth using. I criticaled the fucking alligator dog like it ain't shit. Ain't shit. Uh, oh, hold on. Oh, that's one of the slug guys. Cathedral. Hang on now, hang on. Something's moving. Um, right, I got some sort of heal. Fucking hell! I mean, fuck! The sla- the- Dude. Right. Okay, the roll attack with this, the, that slam is so fast, and I've just learned, if you- as long as I lock on, it- it- it did a 180 and accurately hit it. Now, what spell did I just get before the game decided to minimize again? Was it a great heal that I saw? It fucking was. Now that might be worth going over instead of the replenishment. Maybe. Maybe. The, the strength of replenishment is that it, it's ongoing. So it counters fire lava damage. It count, you know, I can heal at the same time as that. It, re it requires 25 faith and I don't even have that, so... I'll save that for the future. Let's just keep going. 
And I'm guessing that dog is just a normal mob. <laughs> as terrifying as it seemed. We've got an odd mix of high-resolution rocks and low-resolution rocks. <laughs> that officially means that it is scenery and is, there's not going to be an illusory wall. It's great when you can use textures as a sign of when something is... It, it's like an old-school... Um, telltale sign in video games of, of when you can interact with a thing is when it's got a higher resolution than everything around it. Like in the PS2 era, game, the games had a lot of that. Alright, there dude, we're getting fucking down into the nitty gritty here. Dude! I wasn't expecting like, you know, downage. Because there's so much up, do you know what I mean? But we can go over there, and that goes into there and up there. And that heads to garden, potentially. Right, any drop downs? Any drop downs? No. Jesus Christ. Any loot? It's, it's low resolution rocks, so it's not an illusory wall. Was this just to show you the scenery? Because I'm surprised there isn't some loot around here. Mm -hmm. uh, now, question is, do I want to go through here? Or do I want to go underground first? Let's have a peer in, but I reckon this is going... S oh! Oh, bonfire. Nice. Cool! Dude, this place is... Okay, terrifying, but that wasn't what I was gonna say. Oh my god, oh god. Oh fuck, that's like... That's horror game shit. What the fuck, it's like pitch black until you... Right, where is this on the list of shit? I'm gonna amber because I've, I've made progress, you know, and I've killed the dog now, so, so it's safe. Yeah. Right. What's it called? Distant Manor. And it's fourth on the list of shit. Okay. 20,000 fucking souls! When the fuck did I get that? I guess the dog dropped like 15k. Right, I definitely want to be leveling up with that, but real quick. Just in case it's a dead end. Let's have a look under here. Oh, oh, should, is, this a, is this a fucking mistake? Uh, right, two hand. Oh, this is just bad, man. Oh, this is all sorts of bad. Right, no, no, no. I'm gonna... We're gonna level up at least once. I'm gonna try my absolute best to not, like, miss an NPC interaction or whatever before any boss fights. Say hello. I need 80 souls. Really? All right. Uh -huh. Sail away, sail away, sail away. Got another 8,000 of souls, that's fine. Welcome. Right. Very well. I mean, what are we doing now for stats then? Because I've got enough health for now to be happy. Um, hmm. Endurance, stamina. I wouldn't mind getting stamina to like 110. You know what? I am going to put points in endurance up to like... Maybe not 110 stamina, but like 16 endurance or something. I'm on 14, let's get to like 16, because I am running out of stamina every now and then. Like I'm doing like a three hit combo, and maybe one roll, and then I'm out of stamina, and I'm always taking a hit, so it is a bit of a problem. Right, let's get back. I'm going to quickly check upstairs in case it was a dead end. Knowing my fucking luck, I would keep going down kill a major boss, and it turns out that Sigwood is just hiding upstairs in this church, you know what I mean? So, real quick, let's just check out the rest of this room. It's kind of the problem of uh, having too many ways to go. 
Oh. Oh, well, hang on. This is just a dead end. Got to check everywhere, and then we'll have a look up. That's clearly a drop down from somewhere else. Uh, and there's no ladder up. Hmm. Can I see anything else up there? Nah, right. Okay, clearly we dropped down from somewhere else. Uh, I'm, I'm going to run back. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry that I'm so indecisive sometimes, but I just wanted to triple check that the front entrance of this place is just like a dead end. Because I never did check everywhere. Oh, I forgot about all these fuckers. Okay, okay, okay! Uh, Okay, okay! Let's just uh, do that, and then it is a dead end, so let's just go back again. <laughs> that was all truly pointless. Truly fucking pointless. It's motherfucking pointless. Run away, pointless. Get away from me! Right, it was a dead end, ladies and gentlemen. Lesson learned. Oh, well, I think that I think that was also a dead end to my left. Go away. Oh, for fuck's sake. But let's take- in fact, I don't think I've killed one of these with this sword yet, have I? Let's see how good I can stumble these fucks. Wait, if you're gonna make it easy for me- Oh, fucking hell! Okay, okay. Right, okay. All good. So these are a thousand souls each, which is nice. Right, okay, let's, uh... Let's go in the underground water thing, because this is clearly, like, progressing forward. And I think this will be just a dead end. In fact, there's been several locked, like, doors, like, locked from the, that side, if you see what I mean. I bet this probably opens up a shortcut. And then we shall progress down into the manor. Okay. Right, what are the mobs down here? Are they slow or are they f fast? Oh, it's just spiders. Just basic sp BASIC SPIDERS! <gasps> basic spiders! I don't like these. Right, power attack. Oh! Oh hey, the power attack was a- was a stumble. That's important. That is important knowledge. Okay. Let's roll at every chunk of wall, because I will miss something. Right, hang on. Come at me, please! Oh, they scream as well. I don't like these. You know, putting replenishment back on was a fucking great idea. It's just, it saves the healing flasks. Okay. All right. What else is here? Come at me, please. Is each of these like a, a something related to the fair lady spiders at all? Or is it just coincidence that it's the spider form? Because there's no like chaos or fire in this place, you know? Oh, these are all basic fucks. I don't like the scream they make, but at least they're weak. Right, come at me. Oh, hang on, there's like three of these. Hang on, hang on now. Uh... Oh! Yeah. Did I kill it with a single... I killed it with a single hit! Oh my god! Ah... Oh, each of these is like a budget Quilag without the fire. <laughs> At least they're weak and pathetic. Alright, let's loot everything and get the fuck out of here. There's dung pie everywhere. Which is... Slightly concerning. Alright, let's get the fuck up and out. Oh. Excrement. <laughs> Why is there shit everywhere? Dung, excrement, ashes. We'll give that to, uh, to, to fire keeper. Uh, what are those red ladies in the second game? They're not fire keep. Uh, 
uh, I can't remember what they were, if they used to be fire keepers or something. <sighs> handmaiden, that's it. Shrine handmaidens. Unclean umbral ash coated with excrement. Perhaps it's possible the handmaid of filing shrine. Oh, to savor the sweet pungency once more. Alright, well, she wouldn't take other ashes. Oh, it's onion boy! Hang on, make sure I'm safe. Fuck. All good, right, okay. Hello! It's good to see you in the flesh and armor again. He's sleep. Hello. His last interaction, he was uh, down a well, and we never saw him. Right. Okay. Don't mind me. I was just taking a few screenshots, <laughs> as you do. Maybe for thumbnail reasons. Maybe just for prosperity. Anyway. Okay. Th Hood's back on. Let's try talking to him. Can you wake up, please? <laughs> Uh, oh shit! Me, I, okay. I must have dozed off. Good to see you, Onion Boy. It's rather warm in here. I mean, you are sat well, close to the fire. Well, hasn't it been all too long? It's good to see you. <sighs> oh, I seem to have missed my chance. So, I, Siegfried of Katarina, offer my deepest gratitude and a little surprise to go with it. Miss my opportunity. It's all yours. Emmett Four, well, thank you very much. Um, that's a bit concerning. I've missed my opportunity, so here's my deepest gratitude. Did I... Have a, could I have summoned him for a boss or something and didn't? So he's like skipped forward to the reward. Huh. I know. Won't you join me for dinner? Yeah! I make a fine Esther soup. I've got some stewing right now. I am hungry. Even we undead deserve a little normalcy from time to time. And finally... Upon this rendezvous, let us make a toast. Yeah, I was literally doing that for... Oh. Now, I know I, could, I, I was doing the toast emote uh, while sitting next to him for, for thumbnail reasons, but how... how ca can I use this Sigbrow to actually toast it in the air? Because... To your valor, my sword, and our sworn duties. Yes, sir. My, my greatest Only friend. May the sun shine. Oh, he's doing it. Um, <laughs> I missed it, and I'm not holding the zig prow, but you get the idea. <laughs> you get the idea, sir. Okay. Have you heard? Somewhere, hidden right here in Irithil, is a deep dungeon. Oh. And even below that, the profaned capital. Oh. Uh, of Yorm, the reclusive giant lord. Oh, Yorm the... I forgot about Yorm the giant. That reminds me. I have a grave promise to keep. To whom? And what promise? Oh. Sorry. I'm afraid I've cast a cloud over things. Well, I'm going to have myself a little nap. Oh. The only thing to do, really, after a nice toast... <laughs> Is he back to sleep again? <laughs> oh, sleep, okay. This is just chain sleeping now, yeah? I might come back for uh, for more thumbnail reasons later, that was great. Yeah, a bit concerned that he said, just like, I missed my opportunity, but thank you. I guess we could have summoned him for something, somewhere, somehow. Um... But it didn't seem to make any difference. I don't think you're required to summon, are you, in this game? To actually complete a quest line as long as you speak to them at every stage? Well, thanks for the sig, bro. I mean, it seems like a waste to actually consume them. Um, I, I Didn't I use one to get something off of uh, the birds? I'll probably save the other one as well. It's good to see him again. Yeah, I forgot about Yorn the Giant. I remembered Pontiff Sullivan has been mentioned and Aldrich the big Kraken thug. But I forgot about Yorn the Giant. I guess he's our next big boss. Or maybe, I don't know. He mentioned profaned capital under the dungeon of Arithal. 
That sounds like it could be two bosses. One in the dungeon and one in the profaned capital. Dude, I mean, this is fucking beautiful. Oh, let's, let's keep going. We'll go down into the manor later. Dude, look at the floor. Oh, shiny floor. This is reminding me of Sir Alon in Dark Souls 2 with that shiny battleground floor. Mm. Is this, a, is this just a bog standard Dark Knight? Uh, Black Knight? Hello? You friendly? Are you friendly, sir? No, he's not, but he's got a he's got a lightning sword. This is not a black knight. Is this a silver knight? Oh, get fucked. This I don't know why, but this is reminding me more of Silver Knight from the second game than the Black Knight so far. I mean the Black Knights do look silver colored wise. I can swipe for days too, bitch. It is a silver knight. Oh my god. Yeah. I love making connections and figuring shit out for myself. <laughs> I'll ask. Yeah. It just didn't look like the previous black knights in the game. And it looked more silvery. That sort of thing is probably obvious to most of you guys. But, uh. Hell. I'm very unobservant at the best of times. So the fact that I recognize that was a silver knight from the second game. I, I should earn a fucking medal for that. Right, anyway. So you've got Black Knights in this game and Silver Knights, then. The Silver Knight armor does look cool. And color-wise, I mean, because it's clearly the most important thing, color-wise, the Silver Knight armor does suit this awesome chest piece more than the Black Knight stuff. Now, the real problem is, like, can't remember what piece I got. It was the helm. Okay. That is a bit tall and pointy. I'm not sure how I like that. Um, I'm going to keep Lucatil's mask on. But if I get the legs and gloves... Uh. Or? Oh, of course. Hang on, hang on. Hang on just a second. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Just hold, just pause and stop. The archers in the first game in Anor Londo, I'm just remembering, weren't they Silver Knights? For some reason I had it in my head that Silver Knights were Dark Souls 2, like, strictly, and Black Knights were Dark Souls 1. I think I'm getting it all fucking wrong and back- <laughs> I failed to see the massive spike through my body, oh my god. <laughs> oh. I'm going to fuck you up, sir, up there. But yeah, I don't know why I was under that impression. I've just suddenly had a, a flash of the arches in the first game. They were Silver Knights, weren't they? I'm getting confused between Dark Souls 1 and 2 and what was in what. I don't think the second game had any Black Knights, did it? It had, it had charred knights, I think, and it had Silver Knights, but no Black Knights. And I think the first game had everything. Talk about confusion. Ooh. This was a this was a dead end, wasn't it? Real quick. Oh shit! Oh, oh, oh. Okay, there's frost in that shit. Oh, God. oh fuck it out, man. Uh right, okay, that's fine. Oh, there, right, I see. I reckon we'll definitely be opening a shortcut back that way, so I'll go this way and kill this fuck. Oh, there's Silver Knights for days in this place. I think Black Knights are tougher than Silver Knights, are they not? I could be completely wrong there. In fact, canonically, aren't Black Knights Silver Knights that were burned by the Chaos Fire, etc.? Oh god, this is bad! Bad! <laughs> oh, f stop locking on. It's getting me fucking killed at all times. Oh. Uh, it will be clear. I mean, they're clearly the same thing, but... 
it was my understanding that the Black Knights were Silver Knights of Anor Londo, taken by the Dark Fire or the Chaos or whatever the fuck. Hello there. Just go for it. Don't go for it. Don't go for it. Back off and heal. Fuck. Calm down, man. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna pop a perseverance and I'm just gonna go for it. Seriously? Oh my god. Oh no, bad. Bad! Um, good and bad. The perseverance is a good thing. <laughs> but it takes four hits to kill. <laughs> you know, I could only do three hits before when I was out, before I'd be out of stamina. Now I can do four. Oh. Mmm. Right, what else is up here other than frost pots? Magical frost pots. Anything else? It's got chandeliers. Shall I swing from them? Fucking what sort of magical pots are these? They've just got frost in them. These are some cold fucking pots. I'm surprised there wasn't fire inside the chairs. Now, is this all just dead end? Well, that's... Hmm. What's the point in coming up here? Other than to farm Silver Knights. Oh, right, I see. Okay, right, hang on, hang on. Um, these are just chests. I'm confident. <laughs> Leo Ring? Hey, that gave you a fuck ton of poison the first game. I used that for a lot of the game, didn't I? Oh, maybe I got it wrong. Ring associated with Dragon Slayer Ornstein? It's Ornstein's ring! Uh, Ornstein, Ornstein was the big rotund lightning boy, wasn't it? And Smo was the lancey fucker. One of the four knights of Gwyn the First Lord. Mm. Ornstein was the first knight of the sun's eldest born, and his cross spear is said to have pierced scales made of stone. He had a lightning spear. So strengthens thrust weapon counterattacks. Uh this has standard and thrust, but there's only one attack that's a thrust, and I can't remember how to get it. I think it's one-handed power attacks. The follow-up. There. I think that's the only thrust attack this weapon has. Cause the power attack with two-handed is just swipes and shit. That's not worth it. But that would be a nice ring to have with like a spear build. Dude! Oh my god! Oh, that was um, a boss weapon I got in my first game. It's Unfortunately, I got that weapon instead of the lightning spear because I killed... I got the soul of Ornstein, ra or the soul of Smo, rather than the soul of Ornstein. You know what I mean. Um, and I regret that because I wanted a lightning sp spear and I couldn't get it. So this is the second time I've had this weapon. Let's have a look at that. Let me guess. Requires like 90 strength? 45. Cool. Twisted Great Hammer associated with Smo. Uh, hang on. So I just got a ring of Ornstein. Now I've got this hammer that... Am I getting it? I think I'm making the same mistake I made previously in in these games. I'm mixing them up. Orn, Ornstein is the is the lancy small fucker, isn't it? And Smo was the big fuck. I, yeah, I got it wrong previously. Okay, so Smo was the big boy with the big hammer. Guarding the ruined cathedral, restore HP while attacking. A carryover from Smo's past as an executioner. Ah, uh, y'all y'all will have to let me know what I'm getting mixed up, because now I read Executioner, I'm sure that the the small Lancey fast fucker was the Executioner. Hey. Oh, sh shit, fucking crap. Right, let's go. Well, I'm glad I went up there. Nice. Now I'm going to have to check in the recording what the fuck the third item was, because I was too busy talking and I missed what it was. <laughs> And if it was important, I'll add it to the to-do list. But very cool. I wish I could have... I wish I'd have looted the lightning spear out of those three chests, along with the club. But, hey. Oh! Londor Pale Shade. I'm not afraid. 
I'm not scared. Um, whilst I've got a quick moment, replenishment, like a really quick moment, like a very, very quick moment. Fucking hell, fucking hell, stop locking on, seriously. Uh, I'm sorry for everyone who's like, lock on, motherfucker, more. I can't lock on, I just suck, I can't, I feel like I cannot see when I'm locked on. I'm constantly, the, the camera is constantly yanking me around, I'm looking into walls. I need to, right, I'm gonna heal, and then perseverance. Uh, you know what, I'm not gonna perseverance. Uh, actually, yes, I am. All right, I've got no healing flasks left, that's it. Right, I'm gonna go for this. Ooh, I just had enough stamina to roll at the end there. Right, if I, if I stop locking them, then I can run away and, uh, and replenishment. But I've got to be fast as fuck, fast as fuck boy, fast as fuck boy, fast as fuck boy. And then I'll just chill for a little bit, get some health back. Um... Oh, it's slow as fuck, isn't it? Fuck. Gotcha, you motherfucker! You stupid little pale shade! Aren't pale things the, the tongues? Hang on, ma uh, sorry. mannequin claws, dude. He had a what reminded me of the dark hand shield, which is pretty cool. Um, let's give those a read. Pale weapon of the pale shades, assassins of the sable church of Londor. Londor. The curved claws cause heavy bleeding when two handed claws are. Okay. Muy interesante. Let's just pop another replenishment, I guess. It is slow, but fuck, it, it probably saved my life. Twenty-five thousand souls. I nearly kind of just dropped right there. Huh. <laughs> Hang on, back off now. Back off now. It's all good to back off. It's you know you can back off every now and then. Just back off. Fuck off. Fuck off. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Ladies and gentlemen, we're dead. We're dead. We're gonna fuck with the Fucking hell, man! You dangerous fucking canines! Fuck off! You fucks! You dangerous fucks! Where did I get two flasks from? Fucking Jesus Christ and fuck. Seriously though, I, I got two flasks out of nowhere. Fuck off. I'm not scared of you no more. Now I've got some health, it's all good. Yes, right. What is what is spitting shit at me? My God, I, saw, I just saw blue shit coming at me. I'm up there. Ah, oh, it's an invisible fuck. You missed, bitch. You basic bitch. Oh, I missed. I missed because I'm too far away. Right. Okay. Okay. Now. Hang on, where the fuck are we? Hang on, that's no, fine, it's 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 fine. <laughs> fucking just attack! Just fucking kill him! Kill him all! Fucking die! Right, last, last flask. Good Jesus! Oh, take my soul and save me, because I cannot, I, I just cannot with these fucks. There's too many, they're too fast, I've got shit shooting me, I've got dogs nibbling at me, I've got no flasks left. I stand no chance and I've got 27,000 souls to lose now. 
It's only getting worse. Right, cover. Take cover. Fuck! Oh my god, there's another dog as well. Are you fucking kidding me? And to make everything worse, what what could make everything worse right now? I've got hair in my mouth. So I can't, I'm chewing on fucking hand, I can't speak. Fuck. Fuck off. Oh, that's it, that's it. Alright, okay, let's roll away. That's it, okay. Okay, dogs, I need to roll backwards because they come right at me. So I'm close enough for a follow-up attack. Okay. Right. Fuck. I'm getting a lot of souls, which is good, but bad, because every three feet I want to level up and not die and lose these souls. That looks like an illusory wall right there. Fucking hell, man! Chill! I think I've got a third fucker now having a go. Fuck off. I've probably missed so much of this place. Right, I've got an elevator. Ooh, I smell shortcut. I'm glad that you can see these when you get close enough. They're not quite that bad. You know what mob I hope I see later in this game? Is those ghosts. Those humanity ghosts. <laughs> those are my favourite. Just sort of ghostly blobs. Right. Where the fuck is this going? Can I get a shortcut right back to the start of this place? I'd much appreciate it. I think we've got one. Uh, now hang on. Just hold the phone just one second. Which door was this? The church bonfire's right up there. Right. Okay. I think I've... Uh, okay. Good. Okay. Let's go and rest there because I want to level up. Well, I'm glad to see I'm starting to get more souls as I require far more souls, if you see what I'm saying, because it was leveling up is getting so expensive, I was worried, you know, it would really slow down with how much I'd be leveling up, but it seems to just be... Welcome home, Ashen One. Speak. It, it seems to be keeping pace then touch Hagen. with the expense of the, of the leveling up. Right, let's get to 16 endurance. I think that extra bit of stamina proper helping and I think what I'm gonna do is once that well now, now I'm at 16 endurance what I'm gonna do is take up uh, attunement as far as it needs to be to get a fourth spell slot and I think I'll be happy with four slots for the rest of the game these are all permanent choices as, unless I'm really struggling I'm gonna stick at 20 figure I'm gonna stick at 16 stamina um Everything at dex and int can stay the same. Vitality, unless I really need more weight, can stay the same. So once I get that fourth spell slot, which I'm guessing is going to be probably like something painful. 22 attunement, maybe. Maybe like four or five levels. But once that's done, I think then I can forever more focus on strength and faith. Finally. Farewell, I should make the flame. What other shortcut doors were there that were locked then? Because I'm sure this... I can't remember if this was the first door that was locked from this side or not. I don't think it was. No, it wasn't. The first one was the the one that the fire... The, the big fire lady was through the locked door near the start of this place. Oh my god. Oh, fucking hell, man! Would you fuck off? God damn, making me go up the elevator again. Bloody shit. Right, let's go up the stairs. Let's just, let's get up there. Okay, go, go, go. Ignore everything else. Ooh. Oh, ooh. More. We're seeing more of the town now. And a gigantic sludge river. Dude. Why the fuck is this making me think of Shrek? I, I get the weirdest tangents, t tangential thoughts sometimes. I'm thinking of fucking Shrek and a giant gingerbread man. I was about to comment. I can imagine a giant gingerbread man coming over the horizon, but 
about 90% of the viewers would be like, what the fuck? <laughs> what does that mean? It's a giant character in Shrek, and I don't know why I'm thinking of Shrek. Hello there! Right. Start popping Perseverance more. I fucking need it. Oh god. Whatever lets me not get stumbled so fucking easily. Hang on, I'm gonna die here. You missed. You both missed. You know what? What I said earlier, the one-hand swipe attack is actually better for a lot of these. Especially the weaker groups, because it's stumbling them and it's hitting all of them. So let's just fucking one-hand these weak fucks. Way better. Although I am hitting walls now a bit easier. <laughs> oh, fucking just go for it. Just go, just kill him. I know. Motherfucker. Die. <laughs> it's not quite as long a reach as the uh, club that I'm used to. Oh, that's a long way down and it's not in this room, is it? No, it's not. Hmm. Oh my god, there's just, there's just coldness in every one of these pots. What the fuck? <laughs> Jesus. Each one of these pots, uh, vases, is like a fucking... I don't know. An ultra-powerful fridge or something. You open it, you just get a blast of cold in the face. Fucking hell. Right, I, I'm getting, like, shortcut vibes here. I'll go down that ladder, but first I want to go up here. What the fuck is this? Woo! Right, have him. Have him! Yeah! Yeah, dude, nice scythe. Oh, shit. You dark blob missed, motherfucker, because you suck. Huh. Better summon sand. Oh, boss fight. Okay. Now, hang on. If this is, uh... Po Ooh! Hang on. Pontiff Knight... That's not the same as my armor, is it? Because that was the Fire Knight. A Fire Witch set. I mean, the armor does match my chest piece, but it's not the same shit. Gorms are the Pontiff Knights. Now Harrod and Sp The witches who lead the Pontiff Knights. Hang on, so I'm a bit confused. This is Fire Witch armor, and those are Pontiff gloves. They, that sounds like two different sets, but they are both the knights, the, the Harrowed Knights of Pontiff. So is that the same set? So this mentions witches. Mm. No, I guess that the ones who cast fire have a different armor set. Black hand got hard. Hey now, that's a bit of a filthy name. I was going to play dogs. I was going to have a boss fight, but then I got hard. Nah, but that that joke doesn't quite work, but yeah, you get my point. That's what she said. Right, I'll save the boss fight for last, as always, because I'm... Um, I don't want to be missing no, uh... Oh! Shortcut door, yeah! Okay, well... Let's open it because we can. Ember, nice. I can't melt the snow, can I? Like you, like you can in, uh... The second game, no? Well, let's open it. Now, this is the front entrance. Now, some of these shortcuts in this game are a bit superfluous and a bit pointless, like you'd never use them. But what is down here? I can probably jump down onto that thing. Oh, yeah, of course. <laughs> I can jump onto the thing and loot the, the thing, and then I can just come back up. Now I've opened the shortcut. Hello up there. Hello up there. 
Is that golden symbol on my the icon? Is that just replenishment? Well, let's try jumping down. At least I've got multiple shortcuts. Like, if I die right now, what the fuck's the best and fastest way up? You've got the church of fuckheads over there. And it runs... It comes straight out of that area above my head there. And I can run straight up here. And now up that shortcut as well. Right, okay. I do love me a good fucking shortcut. What's this? Ring of the Sun's Firstborn? I don't think Gwendolyn was the firstborn, was he? Wasn't Gwendolyn the youngest of the god children? Uh, well, let's just, let's just run for this. Leave me alone, sir. Leave me alone! I might want to really, like, check arm around, see who's the witch set and who's the pontiff set. Let me look at the armor of this fuck. Is that the same armor that I'm wearing? You just, you just chill. <laughs> well, I compare our armor. No, it's a different armor. His chest piece is a flat chest piece. That must be the Pontiff Knight chest piece. Mine's got like wrinkles, if you see what I mean. It's like mine's ribbed. For your pleasure. Um, can I get anyone else to compare to? Okay, they're really weird that it's not attacking me, by the way. Now look at that. Ah, that's what I've got. You see, that chest piece is ribbed for her pleasure. Just like mine. Hang on, back off now, back off now. Back off now. I do want to kill that fuck. If there's any even if there's even a tiny chance I can Fuck me, these guys are so strong. Right, I'm gonna run at him and just fuck him up. Let's perseverance and we'll just go for him. Go for him. Go, 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 go. Come here, sir. Right, so, I'm making some connections here. These tall, right, these are the Sauron guys. The guy that I said looked like Sauron, they're way taller than the regular Pontiff Knights. And I, it sounds from the description like these lead all of these knights. Like the witches are in charge, and they are bigger and scarier looking. The wit, there you go, the witches who lead the Pontiff Knights, right, so, I get it. So that Pontiff Knight armor set, I'm sure it looks cool in and of itself, but uh, the witches, the chess piece of which I'm wearing, that is the uh, the tall, flamey fuckers, and that looks better in my opinion, because I want to be ribbed. Giggity giggity. I would need to see both armor sets side by side, but uh, I mean they do look kind of similar actually, they're just both light silver in colour. The, the flame boys are the leaders. Not that that means anything. Um. Huh. So the knights are, have smoother armor. The, uh, the witch leaders have ribbed. Bigger, cooler armor. I was half expecting this to be the summon sign for Onion Boy, I'll be honest. He must be summonable for a fight, you know? Surely. Uh, I mean, do I want to do the boss fight? I don't want to be pissing people off by seeing a fog door and then not fucking doing the fight for two hours. But there's been so much other places to go. Um, I don't even know where the fuck I'm looking here. Uh, oh. Let me just quickly check back here and see what the fuck was this way again. I'm, I'm so lost. Let's go down the ladder. That's what I missed. And see where it leads, just generally. It might be a shortcut or something. So really, uh, that shortcut, the double doors shortcut I opened, that is the sh best shortcut for the boss, Fog Door, from the Church of Yorshka. I think that's the shortest run back there. Now that's the real purpose of that shortcut. Uh, there's, right, there's no way there's not an illusory wall or something here. Yeah? Was it just for that large shard? That was it? Alright. Okay. Well, I'm not going to complain. We've already been there. Well, fuck it. You know what? Let's do the boss fight. Uh, I 
I've got five flasks. I mean, shall I not be a Billy Bastard? I've got enough souls to pop and level. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, yeah. The mana bonfire is further down. I mean, let's look at the logics here. <laughs> let's be logical. That distant mana from past the alligator dog area is going down and like further away and it's the furthest bonfire in this place. That boss fog door is next to the... Ne damn well near the start of the fucking place. These first three bonfires are all close to each other. So I think we should definitely do that boss fight before progressing. I'm just gonna go ahead and apologize if I've missed an NPC interaction or whatever. Yeah, but it is what it is. Is Grey Rat back here? Because didn't he say he was going to fucking Erythal? No, he's still gone. And let's give her the uh, ashes while we're here. Oh. Take, take my shit. Gracious. Like literally. Passing fine ash thou hast given. Really? Let this ash be stone nourished. It's covered in shit, man. I only hope these new wares content thee. <laughs> Can I see those words? Let's have a little look-see. Black iron, hang on. Um, um, I do declare. I do declare. I believe that is the shit that uh, uh, the Fume Knight boy, uh, Knight uh, <laughs> Zorig, Knight Slayer Zorig was wearing, isn't it? Along with his shield and Fume Knight sword. Oh, there you go, fuck, just, just read. Helm made of black iron from the set of... <laughs> Zorik. So these have got good fire protection, it sounds like. All the same description. I reckon that would have appeared after I simply killed him. I don't think that the shit-covered ash unlocked these. I'm, I'm guessing there, but I think I'm right. Because uh, that ash was nowhere near N uh, Night Slayer Zorik, so... Elite Knight. I don't recognize having those on this list before. That might be new. Elite Knights have fallen a store. The mere mention of a store invokes, invokes wistful pangs. And perhaps it was in... Hang on. Oh, it's Anne reset. The mere mention of a store... Of course. Invokes wistful pangs. Yes, it does. I've got a wistful pang because I got him fucking killed. <laughs> Drew Anri to this far away hem. So I've got Anri's armor, and I've got Knight Slayer Zorig's armor all in one big old go. But I still don't think either of those have appeared here because of the ash. Anri, Anri's would have been here after I let him die. Simple as. Zorig's would have been here after I killed him. So what else have we got? I, I, I must have been wrong. Oh, hang on. There was lots of dung pies and shit. I reckon they've been added to this list. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Sorry for hitting you earlier. I deeply regret my actions. You know, it's not... Yeah, I keep forgetting. It's not just spell slots. I'm getting a bigger blue bar and all the resistances and shit for leveling up. So it's not a waste. Right. Right. So Silver Knight land, etc. Right, okay, I'm going to run past everything. Uh, hang on, is that a- is that a painting? Um, I've rested multiple times here and shit. The Silver Knights aren't back. Huh. But- okay. Multiple thoughts. Is this or is this not a portrait of Guinevere? The only reason I make that connection is because she's laying in exactly the same position that Guinevere was up in Anor Londo. Now, this painted lady here is far more covered up if you get what I am saying in terms of clothing. You get what I'm saying. So it might not be Guinevere, but same position. What else have we got here? Uh, and yeah, the other thought I had, the Silver, no Silver Knights aren't respawning, but the Black Knights do? I wonder why there's the disparity there. You can farm the Black Knights, but not the Silver Knights. Hmm. You got a throne. Is that Lord Gwyn's fiery throne or some shit? 
that's a painting of a town, but that could be any that could be Anno Londo, that could be Drang Lake Castle. Nah ooh, who's that? I can't tell if that's a man or a woman. I, is that a dark son Gwendolyn? Younger brother of Guinevere? Or is that someone else? Uh, right, something on top of a mountain. Is that a cathedral or is it Anno Londo? I'm too stupid to make these connections. That's a frosty land of, of shit, though. Whatever the fuck that is. Uh, is that the frosty castle in the second game's DLC? Hmm. Interesting. Let me know in the comments what I got right and what I got wrong. Hmm. <laughs> right, I'll just run. Uh, honest to God. Uh... I will waste another bone. I cannot be arsed running through the dogs. And this will be the first boss fight where we use this weapon. I am looking forward to this. It's higher damage. And that's a... No one cares about you revving your engine, bitch. Right, so... This weapon is faster swinging. It's higher damage. It's just better. Can you hear that fucking car outside my house? I've got a, like a, a line of assholes driving shit cars with fucking... Near me, there's an abundance of motherfuckers who have cheap shit cars, but they put on like loud exhausts. They don't spend their money on a better car, no. They just put an ex a louder, expensive exhaust on a cheap shit car. Right, let's go. I'll defend myself before we... Oh, God. Oh, God. Right. I'll defend myself. Fucking hell. Right. Gotcha, motherfucker. It's fine. I've, I've got eight flasks. That's fine. Fuck you. Okay. I'm looking forward to a boss, by the way. I was thinking about this. Just... I was literally dreaming of Dark Souls 1 last night. <laughs> That's how much Dark Souls I've been playing the past year. I was dreaming of, of parrying Lord Gwyn, and I'm looking forward to a boss that I can parry again. I don't know what made me think of that, but hey. Right, okay, let me just, uh, I'm just gonna restart my recording as you do. Make sure it's all good. Right, let's go. No, go, go! What a way to start this. Pontiff Sullivan. Eh? Uh, really? Fuck off, man. Right, can I just take a minute? I was not ready. <laughs> I just heard footsteps creeping up behind me as I was preparing. Dude, listen to that music. Listen to that music. Pontus Sullivan. We've seen him in item descriptions. Oh, that's really interesting, like, cathedral music, actually. Dude, this is a rare case of being able to hear the boss music without actually fighting the boss. I'm gonna savor this moment. And listen to the music. Mm, so is this guy like a, a priest or some shit? Because why is he the boss of the church? I'm surprised we haven't heard more about this guy, though. I've only read him in a couple of item descriptions. <gasps> what the fuck? Heal? Well, I've got a, a split second. Jesus, man. Look at his tall, spindly head. Oh! <laughs> Get off! Get off me, you rude fuck. Dude, I'm a fan of his swords. One fire and one purple. Fuck no! Right. Go away. Go away. Right, this, this is a time to lock on. Sometimes you gotta lock on. This is one of those times. Fucking hell, some of the some of these swipes are so fast. Oh god, no. No! Hang on, I need to I need, I need to fucking go for this. That third swipe is so fucking quick. Fucking hell! It's got like 60 swipes, man! 
Let's get some distance, just so I can fucking... And I know you're all complaining that I'm I'm getting distance and I should be getting close. Just, just... I, uh, let's just get some attacks in before I die. Hey, fuck. <laughs> I got an attack in, yay! I got another one in, I'm doing good. That's it, I've got to die now, I've got to die with pride, I've got nothing left. Ow. I think if I'm close, he can't do that purple shit, I'm completely wrong. Fucking hell! Stop it! You purple fuck. Fucking hell, man. Oh, this is a Well, I got him down to 70% health, eh? Hey? Right, okay, clearly... I, I think, unless there's a phase two, this is actually not that difficult to fight. He's just got some sword swipes. Basic humanoid boss. And my health is sort of decent enough for now. I don't need to keep embering. Just because it's a... A humanoid fight? I'm already a fan. Just a dude with a sword. So that purple sword is like Sir Alon's soul stealing sword that can fucking impale you. And his other sword is just like, uh. His main hand weapon is like Lord Gwyn's fire sword, and his off hand is like Sir Alon's katana. <laughs> Oh, 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 fuck the souls. Fuck the souls, fuck the souls, fuck the souls! Fucking what the fuck, man? I can't even... I, 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 just so you know, just to defend myself and my honor and my skills, I know what you're all thinking. Lock on, motherfucker. I was hitting the fucking lock on key for most of that. As I was getting swiped and trying to roll, I was hitting the fucking lock on key. Nope. It was all I could do to roll, like, once before I died. <sighs> right, I'm going to prepare for his initial lunge. I'm going to roll into him for this. I, the problem is you can't lock on until he's close enough. But he's... He, he fucking... He's like Goku. Instant fucking teleportation. He's so fast with that first swipe. You can't lock on before he does it. Right, come at me. Right, lock on. Oh, do you see that backwards swipe with the purple sword? That's a problem. There, that one. That purple backwards swipe is actually a, a really tricky attack. Oh, nice hit, sir. Nice hit, sir. It's also weak, have you noticed that purple's backslash? It's weak as fuck. You missed, bitch. Oh, that one didn't miss. That one didn't miss. I'm getting there. I'm practicing. This is all practice. It's practice. It's practice. It's practice. <laughs> Just little sniff my copium. My menthol smelling copium. Fuck. Right. It's just me practicing his moves, learning the moves. I think I've already got this down though. You know? Fuck the doing it first time trope. Who, who gives a fuck? What matters is that I'm enjoying myself. It definitely seems easy though. <laughs> But uh, it's it seems easier to stay close range in this. Half of his dangerous lunge impaling shit seems to be long range moves only to like close the gap. So let's just stay close range. Um, I've lost lock on. That's not good. Right, lock on, motherfucker. Let's get close range again. Fuck. You know I'm. 
Azor is so close to this boss, he's missing a lot of his attacks, <laughs> which is funny. Dude, he's so fast. No! Oh, fuck off. No. I'm pressing buttons, I'm pressing buttons and shit. I'm pressing buttons and shit. I'm trapped in a corner, man. Let's get away from the corner. Away from the corner! I don't like the fact that he's... I'm losing lock-on when he does that shit. <laughs> oh, I'm liking this fight, though. Despite the deaths, that doesn't matter. What, what matters that is, is that I'm enjoying the uh, the hand-to-hand -hand combat with some swords. This is a fucking fight right here. Swipe at me, please. That is literally pointless. Oh! Oh, it's strange that some of those... It's strange that some of those impaling things don't actually do the impaling animation, you know? Fucking hell! Right, hang on, that was a unique build-up to like a six-hit combo there. I need to recognize that build-up. I'm, I'm just- his dick is in my face. I've got Pontiff Sullivan's dick in my face. Oh, the long build-up. Pow- Oh, oh fucking hell, man. You know, it's worth getting behind- Oh, that hit me! That's not fair! Damn it. Alright, he does have a phase two. He's got fucking wings. Right, stop locking on. What's he doing? Excuse me? Motherfucker's got two forms now. Alright, I'm not going to bother attacking ghost form. I reckon I can only hit the physical one. Seriously? Oh, it's gone. No, it's not! No, it's not! It's not gone at all! It's behind him! Bullshit! Right. The fuck. This is ridiculous, man. Hey, at least the uh, d hit from the first one meant I took no damage from the second. Jesus, man. Right, there is a phase two, and it's so much harder. Um. You guys suck. There's a lever here. What the fuck does that do? I tried hitting the lever and kisses it something. It didn't work. It didn't work. I can't lock on with two guys, though. You know what I mean? Fuck, they're locking on now. Hey, that actually sort of works. I got a good couple of hits there. I'm fucked. My life is over, ladies and gentlemen. I'm gonna- I'm so dead, we're dead! That's fine, it's fine to die. Fuck off. I need proper claw grip for this fight. I need to just go for one of them. Ah, uh, oh, I, I did very good though. I did good in terms of his health bar. Um, right, okay. Okay, okay. Okay, let's, 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 let's celebrate the fact that I nearly fucking killed him there just by having some fucking balls and going for it. <laughs> um, so, that ghost for me made, it was just a copy of him, but I'm sure I got a hit on him and it was like a third of its health, so I reckon you can kill that ghost pretty easily. That fucking said, whilst I'm trying to do that, I've got Pontiff motherfucking Sullivan himself trying to kill me in physical form, so... I don't know if I should go for the ghost and kill it, or just ignore it like I did and go for Pontiff Sullivan. Oh, you can pop Perseverance surprisingly quickly! You know what? If you just go fucking ham, you can have this motherfucker quite easily. Now, I had Perseverance on. Look at that! <gasps> oh! oh, 
Okay. All right. All right. Mm-hmm. Understood. When phase two begins, get the fuck back. Because he just goes, and, I, and you just drop dead. Okay. I got him to phase two there by going fucking ham like a lunatic. Dude, look at him. He's so cool. Okay. Whoa, okay, it's not it's not safe to just truly go ham. <laughs> right. Okay, that wasn't a beam, that was a wave. Fucking hell! I'm just I'm just in a corner getting fucked by beams. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> fucked by beam. Right, okay. Okay. I don't care how many deaths this takes, I still feel like I'm doing good. <laughs> There we go, come on. Oh, there you go, right. <laughs> you know what, uh, um, mid run back, I just had a thought that you know what I was just saying, coincidentally, about a, a boss with like a sword, etc., and parrying. Shall I see if you can parry this guy? He's got fucking swords and simple swipe attacks. But I am so curious. I just want to see one time, you know? Uh, I need 100 physical. And fire would not go amiss right there. 100 physical, 89 fire. Let's do this. Come at me. Bring it on. Bring it on. Oh, I, I, I didn't put the shield in my hands like I thought I was going to. Am I like such a basic bitch? Don't answer that. Changes the entire setup so I could try using a shield. Forgets to use shield. I have missed the, the shield parries. It's such a fundamental part of, uh, of Dark Souls is parrying. I don't miss sucking at it and then failing and then getting hit anyway, but I do miss parries. It always feels skillful and good when you pull off a parry. <laughs> oh my god. I'm out of practice with the parries. What a, what a cock I look. What a shit player I look like there. Parrying and then getting hit by an attack like three seconds later. If it turns out you can parry this guy, I might just have to become parry god right here for this fight. I'm taking far too many hits. And he's just he's just doing slow shit. I mean I'm blocking quite a few hits. Oh, right, all right, no, 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 cancel, did you, stop, it's just error, cancel, stop, alarm bells, shield's going away, this is pointless. <laughs> why am I, why am I doing this? It's easy to just fucking evade him. Fucking hell! Hang on, that was the- right, that's the big combo. Right, I see, I see. When he raises both swords in the sky, that's the big old combo. Understood, a progress made. <laughs> progress made my ass. Progress made, meet my ass. It's all a learning curve until phase two, and then I'm, th 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 there's no learning to be had. At that point, I'm just getting my booty clapped. I'm not going to go around his right side. I'm going to go left to right to left to right. 
like this, left and right and left and right. Oh my god. Oh my god! Run away, run away, run away, run away! And then run back to him. Left and right, left and right. Back off. Good damage, good damage. Back off, back off, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. If you could do your beams, that'd be much appreciated. You suck. I literally get to forget to go. You can't fucking see, man. I've got I've got Sullivan, I've got Ghost Sullivan. Two gigantic ghostly cocks in my face. I think I think the key is to not be afraid though, especially just like during phase two. I just kind of need to get some hits in. I'll probably just keep dying about 70 more times. Go for it. Go for it. Go, go, go. Attack. Attack the ghost. The ghost is nearly dead. I did it right. The ghost is weak as fuck. The ghost is weak as fuck. I'm going to kill the ghost. Where is it? Oh, it's behind him, isn't it? It's always behind him. It's always behind him. Jesus Christ in heaven! Come down from heaven and give me a sign. Help me out. Help a sister out as she gets slashed by multiple Pontiff Sullivans. <laughs> fucking hell. Right, so, okay, understood. I've, I'm learning. It's all fucking learning. I'm learning. I'm still learning. It's all good. I'm enjoying myself. <laughs> okay, I've learned something. When he makes ghost bar, okay, okay, phase two begins. He does like an explosion thing when he cr he, cr he crouches down, explosion. That's the big chunk of damage. But then he's got some res residual small damage, like he, he explodes and then has nibbles, if you see what I'm saying. So dodge the explosion and then I can go close and take a bit, bit of damage, but it's great because it lets me get some hits in. But here's the thing, ghost boy spawns right next to him. I can almost kill that ghost by slashing at Ghost Boy in that split second that he appears. Does that make sense? So, when he... And he doesn't make Ghost Boy immediately as well, that's a point. He, he phase twos, and then, like, five seconds later, he makes a Ghost Boy. So I'll get some free attacks in when he, like, explodes. Explosion! Run close, slash, slash, get stamina. Okay. Oh, he got me. He got me. He fucking got me. I'm trying to get a way to heal. How, ir how, ir how ironic. How ironic is that? Oh, fuck me. You try and get away with the specific fucking purpose of healing so you don't die. And that and that alone is what directly contributes to you dying. That is like irony slapping me in the face with its big ironic cock. I'm taking a big ironic cock to the face here. I've had enough of irony. I've had enough of Pontiff Sullivan. <sighs> right, come on, you glowing piece of shit. I wipe my balls with you. Ah! Fucking what the fuck? What the fuck is this fight? With the fucking long range lunges and shit. There. That's a, I need to do. I need to, that's a double dodger. Ah! 
Oh, there's no fucking casting replenishment in this fight, is there? I can't see, man. This is a fucker. This is just a travesty. In all metrics. Oh! Oh, I'm glad there's a max range on that. What is the camera? What's the fucking... What's the fucking camera in this fight? There's no... There's no locking on. There's no not locking on. It, it doesn't matter in this fight if I'm locked on or not locked on. The camera is fucking whizzing everywhere. I've got him in my face. I've got ceiling, wall, fucking floor. Spells coming at me in my face. I, ca I cannot see what the fuck was just happening. Half of that time towards my death, I was pressing the lock-on key to lock-on, and I couldn't because he wasn't directly in front of me. C can you see the fucking difficulty? Even when I'm trying to lock-on, half the time I can't because he's not in the correct place. Do you know what I mean? So this is not this is not one of those cases where you can say, try locking on. I fucking am. <laughs> I am trying to lock on. And half, it, it, but you've got to be like looking front and center at him to lock on. But half the time they're whizzing all around me. And even when I'm locked on, that loses the lock on. Do you see what I mean? If that, when they zip around my lock on breaks and then I've got to see them again to lock on again. So half the time it's like I'm trying to lock on. Or I was locked on and I no longer am. It's fucking painful, man. was less than a cat's whisker away from killing the motherfucker. So what do I do? I see that. I see with my eyeballs two things. That is number one, making a ghost. So I had to kill him then or there because I couldn't take a second round of ghost and him together. So I, that was it. That was that was win or die moment right there. So I decided to fucking go for it with a running attack. What happens? What does he immediately do? What is the one single thing that could have saved him and killed me? He jumps up in the air for that aerial attack. If he did any other thing, if he stood there, if he did any slash attack or anything, fight over, I would have won that. But he did the one single thing that could fuck me and he'd left the area so my running attack missed. I can't believe it. That was basically a success right there, except it fucking wasn't. Alright, got me on the last one. <laughs> <laughs> well, I killed the ghosts. <laughs> you and me in harmony live together in perfect fuck your face.
kill the ghost. Ghost is gone. <laughs> Fucking lock on camera! Oh my god! Excuse me. What I meant to say was, uh, pleasure doing business with you, sir. Good, good fight, sir. But, uh, I do believe I got the better of you, and you didn't get the better of me. Seventeen times. Jesus. <clears throat> Any boss that can make your voice crack and break is a tough motherfucker. That was a tough- that was... That was a tough boss. But I've got to say, I don't know. I don't know if that was the toughest boss yet, or if the old demon, for me, the old demon um, king was the toughest fight. Keep in mind, I did use the slower club for, for that demon king, which kind of is a bad point. I reckon with this slightly faster sword, I might have done a better job against him. But it's hard to compare one boss to another, but that was pretty hard, I've got to say. Um... It goes back to that multi-target thing. I, I was a fan of that fight, despite the fact it had two targets. <laughs> it was just part of it. At least the ghost was nice and weak. Etc. So, Jesus. What would have been really hard is if he made two ghostly copies. So, thank fuck he only made one. But, uh, yeah. I enjoyed that fight. I died more than I would have liked to, I'll be honest, but, uh... <laughs> <laughs> what are you gonna do? I, I really, I, you know, I really try to go for that as everyone always keeps trying to get me to do. Uh, and I died like 60 fucking times, but I did get it eventually. Very well. Then touch there was a few twists and turns in that fight. Like, I felt like I had to be close range for most of it, because the long range lunges and slashes, like the the... The boss attacks that close the gap were so fast and dangerous, it's best to just learn how to roll and dodge past most of his basic slashes and then get my own in there. But the introduction of phase two when he makes the ghost it was such a fucking cock in the ass because the ghost can teleport. and So that's not, not only two Pontiff Sullivans, one of them can teleport, so that one can leave you wrong-footed. Because more than once I ran to attack the ghost and it vanished, leaving me empty or like half empty of stamina and then both of them were doing the attacks of Pontiff Sullivan so I had I had double lots of attacks to, to dodge very cool very tricky but uh fuck I got it done in the end I got it done in the end I should be proud of that let's read the soul I should have probably saved the souls actually I am I wonder what boss weapon we got. Soul of Pontiff Sullivan. Uh, Pontiff Sullivan of Arethel imprisoned a god of the old royalty. Oh shit. In the abandoned cathedral. To be fed to the devourer. Hang on, hang on. He's clearly talking about the, the Guinevere family. Is he talking about Gwendolyn? 
who I believe was the younger of those god children. I have, I can only know, like, I can only recognize Gwyndolin and Guinevere off the top of my head. I can't think of another one. But I'm at to take it that Pontiff Sullivan fed one of those to, to uh, the, the Kraken fucker that I'll be fighting late. Brutal. Well, he's dead now. That's what he gets. Aha, thou returned, and a fine day it is. So. I've got a very twisted soul. A soul t so twisted he's been feeding gods to giant krakens. Um. Du, 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 Pontiff Sullivan. Oh, oh, great sword, hey! It's got magic on it. A ceremonial sword held in Pontiff Sullivan's left left hand, representing the judgment of the moon. So that was his purple sword, but with magic far closer to sorcery than any existing lunar power. His dark blue hues, deeper than the darkest moon, reflect Sorcerer Sullivan's true nature. So who's a sorcerer? Stance of judgment. Assume stance to unleash dark magic. Use normal attack for a lunging thrust in strong attack for a a side sweeping wave. What's up to my voice and my brain? I don't know. I've gone hollowed during that fight. That's taken me a long time. That's going to be one hell of an edit job for me. <laughs> I'm not leaving all those fucking attempts. Oh, Jesus. Right, so. He had his great sword of judgment. That was his purple left hand sword. That looked very cool. And then he's got... Um, profaned great sword. That must be the fire one. A ceremonial sword held in Sullivan's right hand, representing the profaned flame. Long ago, when Sullivan was e was yet a young sorcerer, he discovered the profaned capital and unfading flame below a distant tundra of Erethel. Tundra, so it is frosty and cold. Unfading flame. And a burning ambition to uh, took root within him. Hang on, is this unfading flame and the profaned fire beneath, etc.? Is this like... Is this somehow referencing Isolith and that fire, or is this a different fire? Huh. Did, hang on. Uh, Pontiff Sullivan, Pontiff Sullivan, Pontiff Sullivan. No, that's it. Well, I mean, you know, is it only if it's ten thousand souls? I might not waste it because I'm, I'm starting to get a large amount of souls from basic mobs, and it would be a shame at this point to waste a boss soul. 12,000. Well, I think I'll save it for now. Because um, those are two cool swords, and I'm a fan of swords. Fan of great swords. You know? But the boss weapon thing, I'm tempted to only spend my uh, scales on the club. I've already committed to the club, and I've got this sword now. So I'm tempted to not actually buy either of those swords, as cool as they were. Welcome, host. Ashland, I'm surprised you got nothing new to search for. Well, let's uh, let's do a round of talking to people, and then we're going to call it an episode. There, it might be a really short episode. I don't I don't really know. It's one of those episodes where I've been recording for like four plus hours, so I I don't know how long it will edit down to. You know, it's one of those oh, situations. Do you wish to hear it? What you got for me? Still got the dark shit, the other shit. Tears of denial. Oh, I see. Yeah. Okay. Have a pleasant journey. Thanking you. Pleasant to see you again. Uh, nothing new. If I saw me. Oh, it's back. Motherfucker's back. Grey rat. Hello. Any, have you got anything for me? Oh, then we're both safe and sound. We are. Thank the gods for that. I don't like getting things so close. What? I might have died if it wasn't for that peculiar onion night. Or? What? In the end, it all paid off. Hang on, what the fuck? Take a good look. They're sure to be of some use. Well, I'm glad he's back again and not dead. Ooh, clearly some shit went down. Um... Oh, dude! I'm a fan of how quest lines, etc. sort of interconnect and shit. It sounds like Onion Boy saved Grey Rat in Erythal, because we know Onion Boy is there, sleeping in front of the fire. And we know that Grey Rat was... Uh, we sent him off specifically to Erythal last time we saw him. 
Uh, oh, what would have happened if Onion Boy never left the well? Oh, uh, that's what I mean about the intermingling of quests. What if I never spoke to him and just... What if I was an evil bastard and just said fuck you and, and left him to rot down in the well? Would he have not saved Grey Rat? I wonder if Grey Rat would have just never returned or we would have found him dead or something. Oh, intriguing. It's a second lot of embers and divine blessings. Um, oh, I can buy three scales. That's fucking new. I can buy three Twinkling Titan. I, ooh. 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 That's fucking expensive, though. 12 and 16k for one of each is ridiculous. Damn. Scholar's Candlestick. Scholar's the Great Archives. This served as their guiding light. I think we've read that before. Lothric Night Sword. Yes. Anything new in terms of, like, obvious shit? I don't think so. Lothric Night Red Sword might be a fun one to use. I don't know what Stomp skill is. Oh, uh, uh, ooh, Pontiff, uh, ooh, Pontiff Night Curved Sword. Okay, this must be new, because we've only just seen the Pontiff Knights. Curved Sword wielded by the Pontiff Knights. Right, so, oh, it's got the same sort of webby look as my Golden Volnir Sword, kind of. Hmm. The large blade appears to be eaten by insects, making it lightweight, but also brittle. Huh, is it not heavy? 3.5 weight! Durability's fine. 90 durability is quite high. Dude. Huh. I can see that being a real good weapon just because of how light it is. What else have we got? Standard weapons. Standard, standard. Lothric long spear. Hmm. Glaive. Do, 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 do. Uh, Knight's Cross, but that sounds new to me. Hmm. That's got lightning damage on it. What of the shields have we got? Elk gone round. Uh, kite. Knight. Knight. Pontiff Knight. Right, so we've got Pontiff stuff has been added. Basically, anything to do with Lothric, I'm taking it. Since he's been to Lothric. Not Lothric. You know what I mean. Pontiff land, Erythal. So he will have all the corresponding Erythal shit. I'm guessing he had all the Lothric Knight stuff from previous uh, outings when he went to like Undead Settlement and and Lothric Castle, etc. And he's just got all the Pontiff stuff now. Is it going to be like Pontiff armor I can buy? No. Although some of these are new. Mmm. Interesting. You can keep the ring. I'll Thanking you, sir. Goodbye. Oh, this place is up. <laughs> y stay there. You nearly died, apparently. Or got captured or some shit in that last outing, so you just chill for a bit, for fuck's sake. Relajate, mi amigo. Okay, so. Uh, you know, I forgot to tell Onion Knight that I had to buy his armor back from this cheeky fuck up here. Is he still alive? Is he still here? He is. Lazy bastard sitting on his fat ass. Oh, hello again. Patches oh, Boutique of Wonders. <laughs> what a name for his shop. <sighs> boutique of Wonders. I can imagine that being a shop name on it's Diagon Alley. Oh, you Shh. This is not the time for you. Right, so you've got Yorm. It sounds like Yorm the Giant is next. In the profaned capital beneath Erythal, so clearly I was right, and that that bonfire, uh, the manor bonfire, going down, it's going down, down, down. So that's headed towards the profane capital. So it looks like Yorm the Giant is the next big boss, uh, and that's hit. That's his seat there for his big fat ass. Uh, and I guess Aldrich is later. Both have been mentioned recently, though. Like, the Pont Pontiff Sullivan tossed gods <laughs> down to Aldrich, that fucker, to be devoured. Tossed them, tossed him down into the profaned capital. I wonder if we're going to fight both down there. 
because, I mean, my logic is undeniable, both have been specifically mentioned as being below a rithel. So, huh. And I wonder how King Lothric or whoever that is fits into all this. We haven't yet really heard much about him. We've heard increasing amounts about all the other dudes. Uh, I'm going to go outside and speak to Sad Boy because he, he often has new shit for me and he's not in his inside place. Let's go outside. Yeah, I hope the few of you who were bored by my choice of using the club, because there, there was a few people complaining that it was the obvious easy choice. I hope you're a bit more happy now I've switched to a different weapon. In my opinion, it's just as powerful, if not more powerful. Uh, hello. What? Um, I came out here to see if Sad Boy was here. And there's a shield. He's not here. Where? Where is Sad Boy? Is that another quest line I've, like, fucked? Shield that belonged to Hawkwood, a deserter from the Undead Legion. I is this him? Because this shield wasn't here before. And Sad Boy was, like, praying at this grave. The unique swordsmanship of the Watchers does not normally allow the use of shields. The unique swordsmanship of the Watchers would not allow such a shield, and Hawkwood's very position of it was a telltale of his defeat. Skill parry. Repel an attack at the right time and follow with a critical hit. Works while equipped in either hand. Mm -mm -mm. Well, what the fuck? Hmm. Is Sad Boy, like, gone now as well? Oh my god, I balls up. You know, in the second game, I was happy that one of the main things that I was getting from the game was that I was populating Medjool, like, through my successful exploits in every direction, killing bosses and completing quest lines, etc. The, the main bonus was that I was populating Medjula, like, turning it into a thriving port of business. It start, I started the game and it was just like there was one lonely person in Medjula, <laughs> and then I slowly filled it and it was like a bustling town by the end of the game. But in Dark Souls 3, I'm like fucking up everything. I'm piss <laughs> I'm pissing people off. I'm getting people killed. Mul multiple NPCs killed. I'm having people leave because they don't like me no more. Like, I'm just fucking this up. And, I and one person that I wouldn't mind being fucking gone, Patches, is still here. Like, I've gone bold. This is no longer going to be a, a bustling, busy town. It's going to be like a mournful reminder that I went and fucked up a thousand quest lines. Oh, Jesus. Well, you're still dead and body's still still cold? Yeah. Well, there you go. Let's just, let's just sit in his corpse. Thanks for joining me for this episode. It was a bit hectic and manic. My heartbeat hasn't dropped beneath like 180 beats per minute. The whole fucking time. Jesus. And when that happens, I find I can't shut up. <laughs> I'm just talking and babbling constantly. But thanks for joining me. Hope you enjoyed this episode. I'm glad we managed to kill Pontiff Sullivan, though. Because I'm running out of hard drive space. So I, don't, I would have had to stop for the day before too long. But yeah, hopefully uh, next time we descend. And uh, let me know if I've missed anything in Arithal. I am fucking certain that I have. There was many other ways to go, it seems. Um, so it might be worth doing a big old once-over um, of the whole place before we descend the manor and uh, start descending to the uh, to the profaned capital. I think that's the only name that we've seen, profaned capital, so that must be what's beneath us. Um, I don't think there's any business to be done before then. I don't have enough souls or whatever to level, so we will just be starting at the manor, I suppose. Yeah, I, again, funny that the bonfire is not, like, like that's not the last one on the list, if that's where you're supposed to go. Uh, I'm gonna, let's just, before we end, <laughs> we aren't done, are we? Because there was the lever, lever thing to pull. And I was, I was too gizzy. I can't even speak anymore. Gizzy? The fuck's that? 
giddy. I was too giddy at the time after killing the boss and I just wanted to get to safety. But there's doors and shit here. So I'm not done just to... Yeah, episode isn't ending yet. It's not over yet. Let's just see if these doors open. Let's see what see what this lever lever thing said. I'm sure it said it can't be pulled from this end or something. Oh, I wonder if there's something up there, like a drop gate or something. Hmm. Let me know as well, in addition to all my other questions, how difficult that boss is considered by most people. Because I, I found that, if not the hardest, then the joint hardest. For me, it was a, a toss-up between that boss and the old Demon King, but... Yeah. I felt like I mastered the old Demon King, and then I won the fight eventually, because I'd completely mastered it. Similar to, like... Sir Alon and the Fume Knight of the second game, where I, I feel like I basically took a few deaths to perfectly learn everything, and then I, I basically got a... Like, against Sir Alon, I got a complete clean sweep on my final um, attempt. I just... I ran rings around him because I'd mastered the fight. I felt that in this game with the old Demon King, I felt like I basically mastered the boss completely, and then I won the fight. However... This boss here, I don't feel like I mastered that at all. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, or how it makes me feel, really. I, I feel like I kind of just, like, went ham and just swung away for days until I killed the boss eventually, and it and it shows in the number of attempts. That, how many fucking attempts was that? 13 or some shit? And eventually, we just, we just went fucking ham and eventually got a winning hit on the guy. But I don't feel like I mas mastered that fight. Maybe I would always feel like that, even if I went for it a bit less and did my usual slow approach. Maybe I still wouldn't have mastered it anymore, I don't really know. It was definitely a hectic fight, and I won in the end, so I don't know, you know, there's no complaints to be had. No, I'm too slow! No, well, I got one, I'll get the other one later. Uh... Well, you know what? No, fuck you. I want it now. I want those twinkling titanite right now. Maybe the mana that goes down isn't the way to go. I forgot there was a doorway here. <laughs> or maybe we even have two ways of going. It wouldn't be the first time. We had the cathedral and the catacombs together before, so maybe we've got another split place to go, you know? Right, where are you? Um, no. Where is he? No! Where's the, where's the second lizard? Oh, was that like a one opportunity deal? Ah, oh, fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. Shit. Well, fuck it. Doesn't matter. I need to win the episode, though. Um, right, this is the... The building that I said looked like the painted... The, the painting room in An Orlando. Completely different inside, though. Well, I can't bring myself to stop. I'm, I'm supposed to be ending my episode. My hard drive is about to slap me in the face because it's so full, but here I am continuing to run forward. My hand is betraying me, ladies and gentlemen. I want to stop. I do. But who am I kidding? I don't want to stop. Who's that? I don't know if he's... There's a dude... Oh, there's two dudes over there. In fact, let's just... Uh, let's have a little... For the f uh. Well, they're identical. They're not identical. One's got black hair. One's Severus Snape. And one isn't. They are different, but I wonder if they're mobs or NPCs. 
Mm, well, I can hear a growling. I can hear a giant amongst all the fucking giant bodies. Uh, I would love a bonfire, I'll be honest with you. Just to get a name check about where the fuck I'm headed here. Like it might add another... Hello. Oh, we've got deacons. Hello, regular, regular blue deacons. Okay. Uh, right, it looks like if we can go in the upstairs area of Pontiff Sullivan's Cathedral, so we'll go inside here. Oh, I need to stop. Well, these are the tough deacons as well. The, the phase two blue deacons. Well, fuck them. Just, you just chill. Calm down. Shortcut, maybe, or, uh... Go fuck yourself. Right, I wonder if I can lift the thing from up here. Ah, right. Well, okay. So that was just a button to summon this elevator, but what's the point in this? I wonder if we can open that door through to that area. That's hardly a fucking shortcut. All you've got to do is go out the door and go up and you're in the same place. Well, what's the point in that? Let me know how you feel about my change in armor, etc. Um, Lucatil's mask might change to something else, but it kind of... It feels like it suits it, sort of. Um, I'm happy with it. Improved physical defenses. Yeah. I love this sword just as much as the first game. Oh, there's a crystal lizard over there. Is there anything else up in here? I guess just optional shit. Well, hello there, Mimic. That's full health. I, I wasn't born yesterday. You chesty fuck. Nope! Roll. I don't want to get auto f eaten. Right, come at me. No! Oh, I stumbled him, thank fuck. I stumbled him. Ooh, he would have eaten me and killed my ass if I didn't stumble on them. Oh. Look at his massive tongue. His tongue is longer than my body. Golden Ritual Spear. Hello. That sounds like a deacon weapon. It, like, officially. Not that I need a staff, but hey. Golden Ritual Spear. A ritual spear presented to Dark Moon Knight before Sullivan claimed the title of Pontiff. So, so Pontiff Sullivan came along and just gave a big old fuck you to all the Dark Moon followers and people and shit. Interesting. Can also be used as a staff. Sorcerers use cast using this weapon. Oh, it says can also be used as ride, so it's a melee weapon and it can do sorceries. Cool. Hmm. Very cool. Let's just check the rest of this area and then we'll, uh... Then, then we'll end the episode. Fuck me. Hard drive full in approximately eight minutes. <laughs> that's, uh... That's not good. Doesn't matter. I only need a couple of minutes to very quickly do an outro. Let's kill that crystal lizard. And then we'll see how many, uh... Twinkling Titanites we've got. And then I will definitely be able to buy the rest from Grey Rat to upgrade this again. But that might be quite expensive with your souls. No! No, Mr. Frodo! No! No! Yeah. Uh, oh, ah, it wasn't a twinkling titan. It was a simple gem. For a simple boy. Dude. Hang on, is this the same room? I don't remember, like, an archway there, or a little gazebo-looking thing. Oh. Well, I think we're good. Let me just shortcut down to safety. Um, the Twinkling Titanite were 12,000, weren't they? I've got... I'm basically exactly on that amount, so I can buy one. How many have I got? If I've got fucking... 
Oh, I've got five. I needed eight, so I need three more. And he's got three to sell. So if I can save up 36,000, <laughs> I'll buy the rest and get Black Knight Sword to the next level. Launch. Okay. I'm guessing these doors don't open on the, the sides. Uh, I'll make the choice for myself, but you might want to let me know which way, way to go first. Mana and down or just across from this way? I'm tempted to keep going in this place because it's... This is more of the same. It's just more erythal in this direction. So I think we'll go across that Deacon way. But thanks for joining me for this episode. Like this video if you liked it. Like this video if you didn't like it. And subscribe for similar content as I go to Filing Shrine for safety. Uh, uh, what did I say? Links in the... So all my social media links are in the description. And I have a Patreon if you want to go above and beyond to support my content. That's the best way to do so. Uh, also, final question. Is Sad Boy dead and was that Sad Boy shield that I got out in the graveyard? And if so, how the fuck did I kill him? I don't, f I don't feel like I did anything wrong. Uh, the Sad Boy in the first game, I think, had a purpose of killing a boss or something. And I did that, so then he got depressed and went hollow or some shit. I wonder if some something similar happened to this sad boy. Welcome home. Farewell, Ashen One. I, I need to I need to stop being a bitch. End the video. It's time. The people want to go to bed and just <laughs> Thanks for joining me. I'll catch you next time where we continue Erythal of the Boreal Valley. And we uh Yeah. Yeah, that's it. I'll catch you guys next time. Liquid Blitz.